Come on and slam into the jam. It's time for more High Rollers, Dungeons and Dragons. With us, the High Rollers crew, welcome friends. I am your Dungeon Master as always, Mark Sherlock Humes. Joining me are these fabulous tunes and famous basketball players. We have no. Rhiannon. <laughs> nope, that's the other side. Oh. We have Rhiannon, Tom, Katie, Hello. Trot, and Kim. Uh, we might be talking about right now. <laughs> yeah, we might be talking about Space Jam before this episode went live. Might have been. Uh, might and have as been. always, Everybody I'm influenced by <laughs> whatever Rhiannon and Tom are doing <laughs> to make me laugh. Uh, welcome, <laughs> friends. We hope that you are well. We hope you are healthy and safe uh, on this fine Sunday as you join us once again uh, from home as we continue to play remotely and keep our adventures going. Uh, mm. How is everyone? Very well, thank you. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. good. Here we go. Yes, oh. very good. Uh, we'll get to that in a minute. Um, but before we talk about other cool things, uh, the first thing that you need to do is say a big, big thank you to today's sponsors, of which there are two. Oh, no. Oh, here we go. Oh, nice. He's literally interrupting me with a special report. Uh, Breaking news. Good afternoon. <laughs> Famed author Brian McClellan, oh known God. for his popular... Powder Mage and Valkyrie Collection Series has once again come forward with an astonishing gesture of generosity for the High Rollers community, and also apologies for interrupting your favorite broadcast, High Rollers. By heading to his website, the link is in chat or the description, depending on how you're looking at this, he is offering all of you 10% discount on his Valkyrie Collection Series, which includes both Uncanny Collateral and the second book, Blood Tally. I hear an audience. Can you hear that audience? Uh, I can the hear discount people screaming. To signed versions, <laughs> hardcover copies, and ebooks as well. So we've got a live feed, I think, coming in right now. Yes. Uh, on the streets of bustling book signing Q and Essex, <laughs> mm. with the clearly mm. the most avid fan of Brian having camped overnight to keep their position at number one, uh, Mark Humes. <laughs> Mark Hughes. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, sorry, that's more breaking news there. Hold on. Hold on. Mark Hughes. Yes. Could you yes. please tell us why you like Brian, uh, that love Brian McCullen's book so much? Thank you. Uh, yes. Thank thank you. Thank you, Mr. Trot, at uh, the news. Uh, first of all, I'm a big fan of the Valkyrie Collection series, which is all about Alec Fitz. Uh, he's a part troll debt collector for the supernatural world of the other. Uh, wow. He goes around collecting debts for... For devils and vampires and all sorts Amazing. of that. And vampires is what all Blood Tally's all about. And Alec uh, and his his good genie friend Maggie get into some trouble uh, I can working see that and, and dealing got, with the shadowy powers. you got Blood Tally in your hands right now, ready to get signed, which is lovely. Yes, absolutely. Uh, signed by Brian, who is in America, but I'm here in England at a Waterstone, <laughs> so it is going to be quite difficult. Uh, <laughs> but I'm sure That's we'll manage it somehow. For, sorry I had to cut you off there. Uh, well, but I was also going to say he's also a very good friend, and everyone should go and support him. Oh, good. Yes, thank you. Yes, thank he's, you. A, he's an excellent Is that friend it? of the show. Yep. Yeah. Fuck off. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, thank you, Brian McLean. Please check out that link in the description. In other news, D and D Beyond has once again retained its crown as the best 5th edition digital tool set for D&D. To celebrate this victory, we have a group of specialists with us today. Here they are. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, their faces are gone. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. Oh, oh my god. It's also uh, what not do you think about this, Mark? properly on the screen there. Uh, okay, here we go. There they are. <laughs> How are you guys um, doing? Oh, uh, welcome, Rhiannon, Kim, Katie, and a first of us here is a pet dog. Wonderful. Ah. Thanks for joining us. Please tell us, why are people just crazy about D&D Beyond? If you could start one at a time, just take your time. Thank you. Because it makes playing D&D so much easier. Great. Wonderful. Keep track of your stats and edit stuff on the fly in real Amazing. time. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my D&D Beyond is currently in party mode, which is a super special secret feature that cool people get. And that's cool that they do that. Oh, God. <laughs> Can someone put that dog down, please? It's getting out of control in the studio. Oh, my God. Anyway, uh, thank you, everybody, for... Oh, my God. <laughs> please check out D&D Beyond. And also Brian McLennan's wonderful deal on the links uh, in chat right now. Thank you to our sponsors. That's all for today. Back to your standard broadcast, High Rollers. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, God.
I, I hate you so much. I just every <laughs> week it's you get more ambitious and it fails and it's just oh. a disaster. <laughs> no, that didn't fail. That was flawless. <laughs> what are you that talking about? Yeah, the the cutaway oh faceless dogs. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, there's a new emote for us in the future. Um, but no, uh, uh, thank you, Chris Trot, for that. Yeah, uh, yeah thank you, thank you, D and D Beyond, uh, for the sponsor, and thank you, Brian. Brian, you know, coming back thank and supporting you, the show. He's a friend of the show. Um, he's he a really lovely guy. He also sends us some signed copies as well, which books. is super, super lovely. Aww, so he's a great wow, guy. people can copy that now. Thank you, Brian. I've got the first Thank one. Thank you, Brian. Over here. Um, but no, go and check it out. I've I've been reading uh, the Valkyrie Chronicle stuff. Uh, it's a really fun read. It's not too long. It's it's nice and kind of short, compact like stories if you like. Yeah. Urban fantasy. If you're a fan of things like the Dresden Files or any kind of like that tone of of story, uh, I think you'll get a kick out of this. Lots of magic monsters, all of that good stuff, um, and then some just good old detective in as well. So go and check yeah. that out. Ooh. Um, the other thing, I, I this isn't part of the sponsorship, but I do want to just mention, Brian also has his own D&D stream sh series that he's a part of called Typecast RPG, oh, cool. which is all sci-fi fantasy nice. authors. So you can go check that out, twitch.tv forward slash Typecast RPG, and they're over on YouTube as well. Go and check those guys out, because obviously authors are pretty good at this whole, you know, shtick. <laughs> so can stop. check so it out. Very true. Uh, couple of other quick things. I'll try and rattle through them um, so we can crack on with the adventures today. Merch. We are all currently wearing some new merch that will be coming <laughs> soon. Uh, we don't have any formal dates because of COVID-19 kind of disrupting things like suppliers and deliveries back. and things like that. Um, it's got a thing on the back. On So we have the Nova shirt, which is what Tom and Kim um, and I think Rhiannon are wearing. Uh, this is the Atlas Academy shirt for Nova. So this is kind of like a Nova specialized shirt. Yeah. It's also just a cool design. Um, oh, and then I, I've got the on the well? new... In a minute. In a bit. You go. Uh, so I've, I've got the Eroa shirt. So you've got Gust Haven here. Hang on, where is it? Here. And then you've got the Storm Chaser. Uh, and then it's just a cool kind of tarot wood print block. Um, the really nice long sleeve. Yeah, oh, stop showing off your ass. <laughs> Put it away. <laughs> Put it away. And then I've got another one. Oh, another. Hey. Um... You've got the long sleeve as well. And then the Ooh, mugs. Yeah. We've got some mugs oh, coming as well. Nice variant mugs and then so, we've got the nice long yeah. sleeve uh nice. go on kim tell us about the back tell us your nerd facts so the back of the nova t-shirt is actually tian gong i'm just gonna show my ass is a tian gong in the shape of stars and then there's also a rois and the planet that jasabir has ended up on thank you that's the design okay i'm sitting <laughs> down now Amazing. <laughs> uh, yeah, so those will be coming out soon, and they will be limited in number. So these, unlike our Prime collection, which is always available on the merch store, these will be limited in number. So when these go live, grab them before they go, um, and the keep an eye on our Twitter. Be joining the Prime collection, so this one isn't limited. This will be joining our not. Prime collection. But the t-shirts will uh, be. Um, the t-shirts are limited. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so keep an eye on our Twitter and and uh, on the stream for when that stuff goes live. Um, this is one of this this current shirt. This long sleeve is one of my my personal favorite designs. I really like the, one, the huh? front, the wood the wood print. Yeah, it's I nice. really like it. I prefer the Nova um, one. Thank you. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I, I know. Uh, and then last but not least, just a quick thing as a reminder that we also have a second campaign during the week. You can check out our take on Curse of Strahd every Friday, every Thursday at 8 p.m. UK time. Uh, it's also uploaded to YouTube and podcast. It's been pretty exciting and spooky so far. Um, I'm making yeah. quite a lot of changes to try and keep um, things like, you know, reduce spoilers, keep things fresh for people who have played it as well. So hopefully it's still enjoyable. Um, come and check that out on Thursdays, 8 p.m. UK time. That's on High Rollers D and D, Twitch.tv forward slash High Rollers D and D. It's not on the Ogscast Twitch. Uh, so come and no. check that out. Have I forgotten anything? Uh, we oh, we got also... new emotes. I think I oh yeah, nice. Go on in, Tom. Ace, we got new emotes. We got a new Quill Angry Heal emote. We've got the crit emote, and we've got the chaos emote. That means you can now say, nice crit suck, daddy. You can do that, <laughs> yes. That is the thing you can do. Should you? No. Please don't ban us, Twitch. Uh... <laughs> Trot. Uh, we are co-streaming, not just to Yogs, but also to our High Rollers D&D, &D, live at the same time, so you have your Fine. preference of where to view it Off from. Chat. Yeah, uh, your preference of chat. It, chat, and you can share yeah. your emotes on the high rollers one as well. So that's that's all I had to say about that. 
that's all that cool. is. Uh, with that, let us play some Dun Duns. Let's get the intro video rolling and bum, bum. we'll Ooh. launch into the game. <laughs> Welcome back to Erois. Last time, our party of heroes sought to aid a group of winemaking nuns from a band of gnolls. However, things quickly revealed themselves to be more serious than anticipated, as it became clear the gnolls were under the influence of Hadar. Having defeated the, the creatures themselves, all that remained was to rescue one of the sisters who had been taken to a cave as some sort of sacrifice. However, on arrival, the sacrifice had already taken place, and an unstable rift to the Far Realm had already opened. With a terrifying power speaking to them from beyond, our heroes valiantly chose to try and seal the rift, though it seemed a daunting task. Eight anchor points were needed before the rift grew too unstable, and despite great efforts, the party were unable to stop the rift from erupting in an explosion of chaotic magic that encircled them all. In a flash of magic, the party found themselves transported far, far away to another realm, a world called Elysium, which, has cl which was clearly controlled by the enemy, the Valkyrian Empire. With the aid of an angel called Hadriel, the party have avoided detection for 24 hours and now desperately seek a way back to Erois. And that is where we begin today's session. Uh, I believe that we had ended things with you guys in a small plaza uh, connected to where the archway gate uh, facility is located. A large uh, teleportation service or like interplanar service that transports people across realms. Um, and there was some decisions that had to be made uh, as well as um, some leveling up, I believe, that needed to take place. Oh yeah, uh, level 10 you are now mm -hmm. on level 10 so ignore the thing in the middle it will get updated um yeah but yeah, yeah. So, it hasn't <laughs> been you had 24 hours has it like it has not no have you have had you have well slightly less than that you've probably spent about two hours since leaving hadriels or so traveling and uh exploring the place um but you have you have the most of a day left before your uh presences are perhaps known uh, your your true identities are revealed and that yeah. sort of information becomes apparent. Mm. Um, mm. There are... Elysium is a world of fantastic magical technology. We are looking at a kind of sci-fi utopia uh, with these sleek glass and metal platforms and railways and uh, floating platforms and all sorts of strange species and races here. You've encountered angels, you're pretty certain you've encountered devils and demons. Um, there have been other strange creatures, reptilian in, in nature. Um, you've spotted a few Eladrin. This is a place of quite diverse beings that are all spread out. So you guys currently do blend in. There is no fear of you being recognized as being from Erois immediately. Um, I believe that Quill had also provided Hadriel with the teleportation circle uh, code for uh, one of Callus's main ships, the Tassadar. Yes, well, uh, also on the idea that we would communicate with him when it's good to actually go forward with that plan. Uh, yes, well, I think, yeah, he, he mentioned that he would pass it on to a group, a rebellion group that was um, plotting to, or at least was in opposition to, to Callus and the Empire. Yeah. 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 So that's a that's, um, that's not going to go awry. 
No. So that kind of brings us up to speed on where you guys are, and now it is really over to you in what you want to do. Have we long rested mm. yet, or is it literally straight off the back of the previous episode? Uh, well, no, no, you've not had a long rest. No, no, you, you well, took we... a long rest before you went to seal the portal. Yeah. Um, the portal transported you here, and then you've basically had no, you know, eight, you've definitely not had eight hours of time to, to take a long rest. Mm. <clears throat> I must have not long rested before the portal then. Uh, no, you did because you had spent spell. You had uh, yeah, spell we slots. Spent you were spending to, to close the portal. You were like using spell slots and through, stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, Remember and you that? took damage yeah, as well. That big yes. thing. We burned tons. <laughs> of spell on that, yeah. Nah. The big no, no memory of it. No, yeah. what's that? Who's like, a die? I think Lucius like... really hit his head. <laughs> yeah. Wait, where so... are we? How did we get here? Yeah, that's literally where Trot was coming from. But now you are brought up to speed. Um, okay. So yeah, what's so, the plan? Um, if you want a refresher, I can kind of give you some of the things that Hadriel mentioned or uh, anything like that. But any so questions, was, let me know. It was 10,000 to get all of us through this portal, right? This mm -hmm. teleportation thing. But we need The codes. archway. The archway, yeah. Yep. Um, but we need codes either to Arois, which we they definitely won't let us use, or to somewhere adjacent, which then means we need to make our way from there to Arois. Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> we could... So there were, you had the archway, yeah. yeah. You had... Yes, you can go. There is a there is a, a ship port or a space port uh, that travels. It's like a planar port, I guess, that travels between across the astral space, across the astral sea to various planets. You could hire a ship. You could try and find a ship that will take you to Arois or close by. Um, you could try and do but that. Then we need to figure out Palador. And get through that. That is hole. a that is a problem. It was mentioned that Palador basically attacks any ships that come too close to Arois. Um, and so you, I think you guys had discussed briefly some sort of plan to try and communicate with somebody like Hesper or send a message to Palador that would signify you are who you are and that you, you are coming home. Um, you could try and do that. There was also the plan to try and find um, perhaps an, an independent spellcaster who might be able to try and um, banish you or, uh, or plane shift you back home as well, or again, take you somewhere adjacent. Um, but that would require finding a very powerful individual that could manage that um, and pay them, you <laughs> suspect as well. Can I, uh, can I just say behind the scenes, so I realized, I sent Tom a message earlier this week because I realized that Nova could learn Banish as well, so we just had yeah, this I've idea, we well. had this text chain of us two just <clears throat> banishing each other at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> just yeah. like three, three, two, wait, are we doing a three or the one? Three, two, one, three, <laughs> three, no two, There's no way banish. we coordinate it. <laughs> Um, but also, that could go so uh, badly wrong. Yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, thinking of the could... fly right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what Tom mentioned as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah well, there was also we, we the, the problem with equipment. banish. Yeah, the other problem with banish is you have no control of where you arrive on yeah, the destination. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we've you would idea. most likely be all split up, um, which is yeah. you know doesn't mean to say that you can't meet back up again. But yeah, it would also be we're not a hundred percent that Ayla would come back with us. <laughs> so there's that whole thing as well. Thanks, there is a degree of there is a degree of uncertainty on what would happen. Um, so banish is the last resort. I think those were resort. most of your options. Yeah. Uh, uh, Nova did like express a, whole... a desire. Yeah. Um, the the other Nova one we the other I. More. Yeah, so yeah. Um, I had a personal suggestion. We had a big long email chain about this. Um, I uh, Nova would like to get some information about Jasvir, which is the um, original like Ganassi. Uh, well, it's the high elf city that was on Aroas, and due to a planar swapped. experiment gone wrong, swapped with the um, a Ganassi city. Um, so it would basically take us to the Ganassi home world if we found yeah. it. Um, and then maybe find some way back from there. But the other idea we had was basically a big risky infiltration mis mission onto the, the Tassadar. Because yes. you have the, the um, coordinates to yeah. teleport circle there. The, yes. yes. Yeah, but that's assuming we find this splinter group, right? That We also need them uh, to assist us in the raid because, well, also, how do we get off the Tassadar? That's the other thing. That like, is, once we're on that there, is the next yeah. problem. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it would just be us arriving and being like, ha-ha, wait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, there is the, yeah, if you could, if you, if you knew the teleportation sequence for 
you know, a circle on Erois. You could perhaps use the, the one on the Tastar to go back. You don't know if that would work, but it's a possibility. What's Similar to the way that the archways work. If you can learn the code, you can jump between the points. Um, there was one yeah. um, underwater, wasn't there, when we were fighting the... The one that went to um, Aegis V. That was... Yeah, yeah that would have been. But yep. if, yep. would that... That would... I don't think Maybe any of you studied else. that circle to know no, the no. very specific code sequence. If you had like, if Nova had been like, off. I'm going to study it and like take notes, yeah. then yeah, absolutely you could have that. I was too busy I giving it, it my hand. Yeah. To, to, so, <laughs> to yeah. Take notes. Also, this so, is on the assumption they'll let us through the portal after spending 10,000 and inputting our own code, right? Like they've probably got yeah, preset not, code. You, you didn't. You didn't look into it that much. You, all you know at the moment of how the archways work is the price, which is 10,000 Valkyrian credits. Uh, yeah. And that is the price to use it. And it did not seem like it was being used by just chumps. It looked like it was, you know, when you briefly looked at it, it was mainly Valkyrian soldiers using it or very wealthy looking merchants who were, who were making yeah. use of the archway. So I think realistically, that's like, we have to get that much money or put people in, make people invisible, which they're going to spot anyway, like easily. Because <laughs> look at the yeah. thing; like they're going to have Possibly. security. Um, and also, so, that will also put us on the tracker, right? Like the moment five of us go through a portal to Whereversville. I don't know. You don't know how it works. Um, I mean, you can that's true. So I think... You can do some recon. So what's think, what's the yeah, plan? Yeah, I don't know. If, I don't know if the um, if. Rose would be accessible from this planet. Like, it could also be possible that Callus has put something in place to stop that happening, or to, like, I don't know. I just have a feeling that we wouldn't be able to direct. So, the general. Paul's right there, can we just watch? Yeah. The general impression I got from. Go on, Kim. uh, Mm -hmm. when When we talked about this during the week was that we're gonna. Acquire some funds, like, you know, selling Starbane mm-hmm. statue and uh, Trot. Um, and um, Nova would like to acquire some information about Jasavir, at least where it is, or maybe how much mm-hmm. to go over there or anything like that. And then I think we were all kind of going towards Spaceship Captain um, okay. Adventure. And then solve, yeah. solve problems yeah, along the way. Get, yeah, if we hire one person to take us back, then that's less people to deal with. We just need to deal with Palador. Who me and Ayla have already seen, like there might be some help there. Yeah, distance, Plus, yeah. champion of Hesper, this boy, friends yeah. of. Palador. I do also have a, I do also have a Dusk Willow coin, which people have been reminding me of daily, and I do remember <laughs> it. But I was kind of saving it for something, but it's fine. So that's there as like a. That's if your... I need to use it, it's there. That's but... a wild card. It's the Hail Mary. Ayla yeah. did like... have some some thoughts about that, but if needed, okay, I can I'm so say. glad you've mentioned that. I'm so glad yeah. you've mentioned it. So people <laughs> stop <laughs> telling me about it because I'm sick of okay. it. Okay, so, Tom, did you say you wanted to... Did you say you wanted to observe what was going on at the archway to, like, learn more about it, or do you just want to go straight yeah. to selling stuff? I think we may as well, just for a little bit, just to see, you know, yeah. are they going there and you know, sorting through a list of codes and then picking one? Okay. Or are they, like, just entering their own <clears throat> codes or what? Let's yeah. see how it works. So the archway itself is enormous. It's this towering structure that probably 100 feet across and 100 feet tall, um, and it's housed in the back, what you would imagine as a sort of cathedral, this long, um, very elegant, very well-built structure. And the the rear half of it is made from what appears to be just a single solid piece of glass that covers the entire building. Um, It looks considerably tougher than glass, but that's the best kind of approximation uh, for your characters. Um, The archway itself is housed in the back of this this glass dome that connects to a fortified cathedral. Um, And it's open enough that you can see the majority of what's going on. You can't get an exact number of how many guards there are. You can't get an exact number of how you know, the exact process works and things like that. But enough that you can see that, um, first of all, mainly the most people that seem to be using it are military forces, as well as the occasional merchant who seems to be exceedingly wealthy, very well dressed, have multiple staff carrying things, or they have these little kind of floating crystal platforms that have goods stocked on them. 
Um, you don't see any money change hands, but what you do know is that the base of the archway has a very Stargate-esque input like ring where it's this mm -hmm. kind of multi-tiered ring where they press different runes and symbols and that activates the archway the person inputting the codes is dressed in these long black and purple robes but they have almost like a full helmet that's made from this angular sleek metal it comes down in these kind of very harsh lines um <laughs> it has just a thin red visor uh, and that covers their entire face. Their arms are heavily armored and gauntleted, but they almost look like a like a warrior priest. Almost, you can they have almost like a hassock and sort of like a belt tied around their waist and um, these long priestly robes. They are the ones who are inputting the codes, and all of the military around them are deferential. You can see that they take orders from this person inputting the codes. You don't see a list. Um, it just seems to be this armored figure kind of thinks for a moment and then puts in the code and then hits it. The the clients, whether they're the merchants or the soldiers, don't go anywhere near the ring that inputs the code. They are kept to one side and are watched by guards, and then they go through the archway once it activates. Okay, so it seems it's pretty heavily like, controlled. Yeah, impenetrable in terms of just like if five people ran in there and was just like, oh, Rose, please, and no! then ran through. And like, you have to also the, input the code. I, I, it's also just like looking at it, there is more military presence around this one building than the rest of the plaza. This thing is highly controlled, not just by the Ishtar local forces, but you see like proper black armored Valkyrian Empire soldiers in this mm. building. They are the ones guarding this place. Um, right. They. It seems to be heavily under callus's control and yeah you don't see a lot of other people using it you don't it's only the very rich or the military that seem to be using it okay so right. there's that so there's some some intel um and that you you just sit there and watch it you can see this it's there's almost an arrogance where they don't seem to be trying to hide it uh you know you can see the archway it's this beautiful impressive piece of of magical construction um but it looks very well guarded um, yeah, you spend right. like 20 minutes just kind of observing this and seeing how it all works. Um, if anybody has any questions, if you there is the winter Eladrin, this kind of blue-skinned Eladrin who is sat at what appears to be a front information desk, um, whereas all the priests uh, are kind of around the main entrance and inside. So as part of the observant feat, I can interpret right. what's uh, being said just by reading lips. So is there anything I pick up interesting just by... You know, looking at them talking from afar. Well, the aunt, the the priest, we'll call him at the dial, has a full covered helmet, so you can't see his lips to read them. Oh. But you can pick up oh, some yeah. general information from some of the soldiers and the merchants. Um, it seems a very terse affair. It's very much a. Uh, some of the soldiers turn to one of the merchants are like, "Where are you going? Why?" There's a long process of like writing down information. They take out the kind of crystal magic tablets. They seem to check that information. Mm -hmm. Yep, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, okay, that's confirmed. Identity confirmed. You can travel. Uh, one of them turns to the priest, and you can see the soldier, probably um, almost like a, a purple skinned humanoid with like these barbs coming out of his cheeks in the black Valkyrian armor. Uh, he turns to the, the priest at the dais and says, Rector. Uh, they're traveling to uh, uh, Lunaria. Uh, you know, travel is approved. Um, please proceed. And then the, the figure looks and nods and do, 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 and then they send through. Um, and Rector seems to like be a title. When you, um, is it like when you go into LAX and you have to wait in a two hour queue and then <laughs> they ask you where you're coming from There's... and why you're there and when you're going home? There is a why lot of that. Yeah, there, the is, there is a very what, heavy what are you doing amount there? of. Playing D &D. Uh, there's, there's a Who lot of that. What are you playing yeah. with? Are you bringing them gifts? No! <laughs> there is a very, very tense uh, immigration-y type process. Um, yes. Heavily controlled. Um, for sure. Okay. Anybody else? Kim, do you want to go and um, ask anything of the uh, yeah. Aladrin Lucius Can sentry? Can I go back to the Aladrin and um, ask a yes. few questions about the she... severe? She kind of you, you can see that she's reading some sort of uh it's you know, she's reading a book. Um it appears to be a collection of the latest fashions of Lunaria. Um and she's kind of flicking oh, through it absent mindedly. And she looks up at you, it's like, Yes, can I help you? 
Hello, me again. Remember me from yeah. like five minutes ago? Yes. Hi, yeah. Yeah. Um, quick question. Uh, do you have? A, are we able to travel to Jasavir from here? Jasavir. Um, via the archway, uh, she kind of looks for a moment. It's just like, eh, it's possible. Yes, you can travel to okay. not to Jasafir itself, but there's another city on the on nearby. Oh, okay. To. What what city is that? It's called. <laughs> I don't know. Uh... I like it when this she's happens. typing away. She's trying to find it really slowly. Yeah, she's, she's no, just she's just very, really good she's very lazy. She's, reading. she's very yeah. lazy. Yeah, uh, it's called Eartris. E A R T R I S. Eartris. Eartris. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. Um, how much? How much would that that cost? How you know? Five. The price is five, the same. No, ten, the price ten is the thousand. same. Ten, mm -hmm. ten thousand. Wonderful. I, Are there any other ways? You'd be better to off to going it. to the spaceport. You'd be better off going Space? to the spaceport. Travel via the oh. archway is almost exclusively for very wealthy travelers or members of the military. And she okay. looks at you with that. You are very clearly not a wealthy traveler. <laughs> oh, judging. Oh, um, yeah. Thank you. She's but... judging. She's judging hard. <laughs> by, by the way, I love your outfit. Very cute. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, cool. Very now. Great. Bye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Just Bye. looks so miserable. You've never seen an individual that looks so morose <laughs> and just sad. Just bored and sad. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, I yeah, saw yeah. Piri in class, so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Nice. Nice. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, she shows no interest, but yeah, there does seem to be some sort of ability to travel to the Ganassi homeworld, but not due to Jasphere. Um... I'd say there's probably a little element of, like, reading her facial expressions. Um, there's a little element of, like, no, of course you can't go to Jasavir. Like, there's almost like a, like, why are you asking me that? Um, but hmm. maybe just thinks that you're being stupid or something. Okay. Fair. Um, Anything from anyone else? I, uh, oh, ooh, uh, team Huddle. Team Huddle. Team Huddle. Okay. Okay. So, okay. I think the archway Messenger bust. Ring. Me no messengering. Chance. Yep. Uh, no chance. Yeah, the the lady, the very nice bored lady over there, um, mm -hmm. blue as well, good color. Uh, she says that it's mostly used by military or very wealthy merchants, and then she gave me that look where it was just like it made me feel poor, even though I. Oh, you mean the look that pockets. like most people give me whenever we go anywhere? Like, yeah, yeah, that yeah. look. Yeah, very look much that, that look. Look that, I'm gonna do something yeah. really bad. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah get it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, she recommended we uh, go to the spaceport. I think she pointed that way. Um, and that might be... Also, we might be able to go to the Ganassi homeworld. It, I mean, it will cost a lot m more to get a... Yeah, whoever I know. Fly up. I know, just... Just indulge me, Quill. Just indulge me. I know Aroas on fire, Starbane, blah blah blah. But just, I'm just, I'm just, I'm having a moment. Let me be excited. I'm gonna be excited. Here I am. Oh. Okay. Okay. I feel uh, like she should just let it all out in one go. Otherwise, we're just gonna have the the tiny squeaks. Like, I'm trying. I'm trying to be discreet. I don't wanna. I don't wanna draw attention to us. I mean, you are going purple. <laughs> Nova. Okay. Nova. Do a happy dance. Do you think? Maybe, maybe we could Doing happy dance. Doing happy dance. Do you, do you think there's a place that we might be able to just look into, like research it, and then maybe, maybe we could find a bit more about Alfheim too. I mean, if yes. there was a place that we're gonna learn about stuff, this place is nuts, and we should yes. probably. And by we, I mean you should tell me how to probably learn some things because I don't know what to do, Nova. Homeworlds unite. Happy dance. Happy dance. Happy dance. <laughs> Mine's okay, right. non-existent now, but I'm trying to pretend to be as excited. And we're trying to get back to ours before it <laughs> yeah. also right. gets Before destroyed. it also doesn't exist. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just bring the mood okay. down. So, uh, do you still want to stick with your plan and go and sell some stuff first, then look into think, trying yeah. to find somewhere where you can learn some stuff, or do you want to go straight to the spaceport? Uh, what's the plan? Uh, probably spaceport first. Like we want to get a guy first. Go spaceport first. Okay. See how much. Uh, yeah. See the price, and then go from there. 
Yes. Yes. Sure. Yes. And yes. We've got, we so got yes. stuff to sell as well. So you do have stuff to sell and stuff to potentially buy from this extremely yeah. high tech world. Hi, magic. I feel like yes. we're we're trying to both make money and spend money at the same time. So yeah. <laughs> Yeah, let's yeah, get one to get home. Give me, give me a <laughs> hard we'll somebody. Space I don't port. care who. All right, Space there we go. Spaceport. Right. Okay. <laughs> we need to find um, the price. Sure. Uh, it doesn't take you long. You can you can see the spaceport from anywhere in the city because the spaceport is above it. Uh, it hovers several hundred uh, feet. You're talking like maybe five, six hundred feet above Ishtar City itself. Um, and asking for directions or generally kind of inquiring about how to reach that, people easily point you the way. They say, oh, you want to go to the Halo? Yeah, sure. Uh, just travel down this street and take one of the platforms up. Um, and making your way there through across a series of these kind of beautiful, uh, you know, utopian streets, um, you come across these large crystalline platforms with thick railings that seem to go up and down, almost like a kind of monorail, but without any sort of wires or cables. They float up I... to this giant circular structure that hovers above the city. Um, it has a number of spokes and wheels amongst it, um, around all of which there are dozens of very strange looking ships. Some of them look like sailing ships that you have seen on Erois and the airships that you've seen on Erois. They have weird sails that seem to be made of a shimmery starry cloth but they have decks and you know the front bit the prow and, the, and everything they, they look like normal ships some of them yeah, the front bit utter, yeah the front bit some of them look utterly bizarre some of them appear to be giant cocoons uh that just sort of hover in the air um, some of them appear to be made of pure crystal and have very strange shapes one of them appears to be a giant manta ray uh, that has a little kind of metal box on its back um, and I just kind that. of floats in the air. Um, I want that one. And they all come in different sizes. You know, some of them are long, sleek, and thin. Some of them are made of uh, metal. Some of them are made of stone. They come in all strange shapes and sizes of different kinds. And there's hundreds of them. Um, it doesn't take you long. There is no there is no fee to pay to travel up to the spaceport or anything like that. But as you do reach um, this great height you travel up on this uh moving platform that ascends very quickly you notice that there is a much heavier military presence of the ishtar police force these gray armored uh various angels and devils and uh you know other beings of different types you see a minotaur you see orcs you see eladrin um you might even see in the distance kind of on part of the patrol nova you see a couple of um earth and water ganassi but they seem to be uh, part of the patrols and, and are moving off in, in the distance. Um, and it's heavily guarded. The spaceport definitely has a, a large presence of this military. Uh, when you reach there, you can see that for the most part, there aren't many buildings or structures except for the command towers um, that actually run the, the spaceport itself. But in the distance, on the outer section of the main ring, you see that there is a kind of semicircular, almost moon-shaped crescent uh, building. Um, that has a giant illusory sign above it, um, which has just a single feather kind of half floating down um, and is called the last feather. Uh, and it appears to be, as best as you can tell, some sort of tavern or bar uh, that exists here on the spaceport. Well, that place looks like a good, uh, as good as any to maybe rub shoulders with owners of these really peculiar vessels some of these are um, just pills i don't understand so we messengering <laughs> we're not going there and saying take us to a rose but like that's just a given right no that's a very good idea quill and, and yes i definitely thought of that but how <laughs> are we if we hire someone to take us how do we know where to go i mean up is a good start but then oh. after that, yeah, I don't, um, I don't know anything about traveling in that, and we, we don't know which direction to could, go. We could say we want to go to Aegis Five as treasure seekers. I think uh, Aegis Five is probably locked off not, as a could... military 
Yeah, it's like thing. invading a, a base but camp of a military. I can't imagine that. I bet there's bounty hunters around here who like a bit Could of we... danger. I can't imagine starving. Can we not just tell them? Like Can we that? not say we're we're going to a place? We can't tell you where yet, but we will. Hey, mystery they location. Need to know which you up for a to challenge. Yeah. We can find something that's close enough and give them a rough direction. Uh, right? Hey, Maybe? you know the place, Arois? We're not going there. We're going just a little bit to the left of that. And Obviously when we get close we to it, we'll say turn left. I, well, I mean, yes, we, we could build up a, maybe a rapport with someone. If we find someone. someone, yeah, if we find someone who's willing and not questioning us about where we want to go, then it's likely that they're not really going to care. We need to find someone sure. who's a little bit, a little bit willing to, Whoa, to, way. to do whatever for for just a little bit, a little bit of money. Like if someone Much who... like our security friend back there, who we thought was a member of Starbane's forces and whatnot, but really. Underneath it all, yeah. he wanted to help us. So someone like that. We need to be able to read a person like that. <laughs> oh, I'm great at that. Okay. okay. Yes. Uh, you, as a group, <laughs> you all make your way towards the last feather. Uh, this semicircular crescent-shaped building looks out on a, lot, uh, a large part of the docks and even looks down onto Ishtar City itself. Um, you can see that out the front, there appear to be two very, very large, sort of nine, ten feet tall. I guess the closest you might think of them would be to ogres, but they kind of look at you with far more intelligent faces. Um, they wear, like, you know, armor, um, but it's not military armor. It looks to be more kind of ramshackle. They look like bodyguards or bouncers of a kind. Uh, they kind of look down at you, all kind of nod and just gesture into the double doors that lead inside to the bar itself. Um, you can see the bar is two-floored. Uh, it, it has a secondary floor above as well. Um, almost with small rooms, maybe like rooms to stay in for people that are, you know, don't want to go down to the city but are just kind of staying overnight here in the, the port itself. Um, and the two, the two large ogre-like creatures just wave you in. They don't seem to look at you with any sort of level of concern or threat. They just kind of look down. Hmm? just gesture you in um and you step inside inside is a very the walls are painted dark colors and the furniture is all made from black metal but there are these glowing uh, dancing lights the, the the spell that lucius can conjure there are hundreds of them spread across the ceiling that cast cool. this diffusing um kind of multi-hued light down onto the bar itself um, huge windows that allow you to see the spaceport uh, surround it on the curved side of the, the of the semi crescent, and uh, yeah, you can see that it's packed. There's a lot of people in here. Uh, there are various little alcoves, little private rooms. Um, there is a long bar with several people sat at the bar itself. Um, but behind the bar, the figure that kind of draws your attention. Um, as the perhaps you know the owner or at least the the bartender uh, seems to be an Azamar, a race that you know from Erois. Um, he is black skinned uh, with a glowing crown like halo, so it hovers just over his forehead and his temples, and it forms almost like a crown with a glowing diadem in the center. Um, he has thick braided hair and smiling to some of the clients. Um, he's wearing loose, quite fashionable looking clothing, although cut in a very strange asymmetrical style that you've not really seen on Erois. Um, he's pouring drinks, mixing various liquids of strange colors, um, serving them out. Um, he's the main bartender. Also around the bar, there's quite a lot of individuals. Um, so I don't know if you want to make some notes, but you see uh, in one section, a large armored orc with dark gray skin, prominent tusks, and covered in weapons. Like, almost every part of him has some sort of knife or axe or blade um, sheathed. Uh, he appears to be talking to a goblin, um, not like the goblins you've met on Erois, not like Smeek. This one appears to be intelligent, um, long limbs, um, slick-backed oiled hair, wearing leather overalls, um, and appears to be smoking some sort of cigar. Uh, there is a very rough-looking Durgar, which you have met before, grey-skinned dwarf with white beard and an eye patch, um, carrying various firearms, um, with a strange creature sat drinking beside him. The creature has the face of a spider, but a large bulbous body and these gangly, 
insectoid-like limbs, and it's chittering away to him, um, and seems to be, like, sucking on some sort of cocooned animal, and it's just like... <laughs> it's, like, sucking down on it. Um, in one, in a small alcove... This, this... All right. Just wait, because it gets very Moss Eisley in here. Um, here in here one in one corner, you can see in like a little alcove are three very pretty summer Eladrin. These kind of almost elven-like, but with these large glowing orange eyes, dressed in summery colors, blonde, shiny hair. Um, and they are gathered around a small crystal that's projecting the image of another Eladrin. An Eladrin you recognize. Shansara... Uh, the, oh, no. the propaganda agent of Callus. It's a small image, and Shansara is just dancing and singing, and the three girls are bouncing and singing along. They're clearly <laughs> drunk, and they're just like cheering and like pull it, like, you know, kind of like jostling each other in a friendly way, watching or listening to some sort of musical performance. Um, very J, J pop idol kind of esque um, oh as you watch it. There, there's a lot of oh my godding, or there's a lot of like oh by the emperor blah 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 blah. Like there's a lot of like fanning themselves and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, at the bar, you can see um, there's a moment where you kind of look around and you see what appears to be a woman sort of slumped on the bar. She has tight leather like leggings, um, a loose shirt, and a, a kind of cross harnessed holster, um, where you can see two arcane pistols, um, similar to the ones that you've seen other creatures using on Erois, and she has two of them holstered, and she's kind of lying on the bar with her head flat down, but you you think for a minute, you just see like her hair is kind of spilling around her shoulders, and then you realize her hair is moving, and her hair is made of lots of snakes, and they're oh, cool. just like uh. moving around, but she appears to just be like leaning on the bar, and seemingly is drunkenly passed out um, as she sits there. Uh, another creature is a three-armed insect-like creature that is currently uh, probably arm wrestling a minotaur. Uh, it's uh, <laughs> against the bar as well. Uh, and this insectoid thing looks pissed as hell. It looks very angry. Um, it's kind of screaming something in Infernal um, as it's desperately trying to use three of its arms to bring down one of the minotaurs um, to no great success uh, as it's desperately yes. trying and the minotaurs just kind of laughing at it. Um, there is in another small kind of little, uh, what do they call him? When you've got like a little, like a booth, in a small booth, there is a pack of about nine kobolds watching a kobold <laughs> with wings eat a small feast. And they are drooling and desperately looking at this food as this one kobold is eating all of it by himself. Um... And then the last thing, which is probably one of the, the more unusual ones, is you can see a sure. large creature that appears to be made of um, a suit of armor. Um, it is cleaning itself with a rag and a little bottle of oil, but its helmet, which is a full covered helmet, is smoking. You can see like thick plumes of smoke and orange <laughs> flames kind of coming out from underneath the helmet. But it's oh. just cleaning itself. It's like, eek, and it's just like rubbing oil into its joints and cleaning its, the, its body with a rag. Um, and yeah, and uh, yeah, you can hear the music, Shansara's music, this very sort of like poppy song is playing uh, throughout the whole bar. Um, uh, and filling um, it you with know what? We're spending, we're spending the next four episodes here. I want to talk to <laughs> sure. everybody. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, well, so my question is, who, where, where's everybody going? If you guys, do you guys want to split up? Or are you staying oh, together? Do you want to go and talk to different people? Yeah, yeah. Who do you want to go and, I guess let's who do you want to go and talk to? In order, starting with Sentry, sure. what do you want to do? Oh, um, they're all very, I mean, the Eladrin for me are a no-go. Um, they scare me. Um, yeah, it's fair. They scare me I think, too. I think, the, I think the orc guy would immediately draw Sentry's attention yeah. just because she's used to seeing them. So she'd be like, okay, that's what home looks like. I know these guys. I've seen them before. Okay. Fine. Sure. Like that's, yeah. All right. So Sentry wants to go and talk to the, the metal orc. Uh, like heavy metal orc is how I'm calling yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh, I like that. Okay. Bad Are name, orcs uh, native to Erois, or does this this orc look different? 
No, this look, this orc looks completely different to the orcs you've met on Erois. The orcs on Erois right. generally have a green, t green tinted skin. Um, they are covered in tattoos. They don't really wear metal armor. They seem to mostly wear things like, uh, like Polynesian style dress, or they look like pirates, like Araya does. They tend to dress like pirates of the Caribbean esque pirates. Um, this guy has dark gray skin. He's bald headed and is just covered in like heavy metal armor. Like you can, he looks like he belongs on the cover of a Metallica album. Is the guy like big spiky nice. pauldrons oh, and like axes yeah. and swords everywhere? Um, well, the you know, flaming armor doesn't look like that, but this guy does. No, the flaming, the flaming armor looks like a giant suit of armor that has a fire inside its helmet. Is what that looks like. He's an Iron Maiden. But this guy cover, looks. Surely. Yeah, that he the, the the suit of armor looks more like an Iron Maiden cover. This guy, this guy looks like he belongs on a Death Save shirt. Like Joe Manganiello would make a T-shirt. Right. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? You know, <laughs> the uh, looks like a yeah. real big fish out the mart. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's yeah. They're definitely a kind of real big fish, less than Jake stuff. Uh, definitely. Sure. <laughs> nice. Uh, I love that. Nice. Uh, okay, so that's where Sentry's going. I get. Can I? I. I feel boring but i kind of want to just go to the like the person behind the bar and yeah talk to, talk to Absolutely. that person um should we stay wait, together uh, well, no it sounds like tom wants you know i think splitting up and talking to different people sounds great i'll go with I you can you can i mean like yeah if ayla wants to go over with sentry to talk to the orc you guys can like split into little groups for sure yeah. Or you can well, I just want to see where, want. where people wanted to go. Like, we're in a bar, right? If we if five people huddle together, walking back to back <laughs> with each other, watching every wall, that looks weirder than anything else. Like, yeah. we may as well talk to whoever we want to talk to. Uh, but sure. I'm just going right. to the bar. All right. Quill and Lucius going to go to the bar. Sentry's going to go talk to the big metal orc. What's Ayla doing? Arm wrestling a minor tour. <laughs> Let me consult my list again. All right, what's Nova doing? Um, I'm intrigued by either drunk snake hair lady or a sentient suit of armor. Sure. Oh, suit of armor. <laughs> Which yeah, one? Yeah, yeah I know, right? <laughs> um, Which one? Pick. Drunken oh, no. snake hair lady. All right, drunken snake hair lady. Okay, sure. Ayla? Uh, I'm probably going to go with Sentry to the Orc. Okay, all right. Sounds good. Let's do uh, let's do Sentry and Ayla then. Initiative. Um. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you make your way over. Uh, no, you make your way over, and they are, they're sat not at the bar, but at a small kind of freestanding table. Um, the orc is standing. The goblin has dragged over a bar stool and is sat on that, and you can see he's got a massive cigar. And as you approach, you hear just uh, the kind of conversation of like, yeah, you wouldn't believe it. The, uh, those gas mines are really getting a lot of, making a lot of money, making a lot of credits off of those things. We could use a man like you. Uh, and the goblin kind of turns and sees you and the orc kind of like rotates his head around. You can see he's like heavily scarred, scars all over his jaw and these massive tusks coming out of his, out of his mouth. Uh, and he just looks down. Can I help you? Oh, hi. hello. <laughs> Uh, the goblin looks around and he's like, Nice to meet you. Wow, look at these. A couple of strong, strong uh, ladies coming over. Nice nice to meet you, ladies. Nice, <laughs> nice, kind of nice blows to meet up. you too. Uh, I, was, I was, sorry, I, we're looking for people. And I was just immediately drawn are people to you. Found, I don't know why. Sweetheart. Oh, he's yeah. talking to the orc. He kind of looks down. Uh, the goblin looks like, oh, you're not talking to me. Oh. And he kind of like looks around. He's, he's got like this big wide face and like a big look. He's got a very wide smile, like an unnaturally wide smile, um, but with a squished head. Uh, so he looks kind of strange. He looks like a flattened <laughs> pea. Uh, <laughs> but you, the orc kind of looks a around. He's just... Pea. Yeah, like a squished pea. Do you know what? Like, if you took a pea and you squished it a bit. No, I like understand that, what the, I understand the image, but I'm trying to associate yeah. it to a goblin's head. Well, I just gave it to you. Uh, the, the, orc, the orc looks at you, Sentry, and he looks at Ayla. The two very heavily armored, heavily armed, and you see, like, one of his hands go to a blade at his side, and he looks at you and he's like, Bounty Hunters. Like questioningly, like well, somewhat. We've been known. You see his eyes. His eyes narrow. But he's like, we're not here for any trouble, honestly. 
Mm. You're fine. Good. I'd hate to kill you. Seem. <laughs> I wouldn't like to grins. die, personally. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, it's not so no. bad. Get, <laughs> after the fifth time, you get used to it. So, what do you want? Um, we're looking for people who might um might be captains of these uh these ships. That looks looks at Sentry. Looks at you. Uh, he's like, I'm no captain. This is he's neither is he. Despite what he might try and swindle you out of. And the goblin's like, hey, you didn't even let me try. Uh, as he kind of turns his cigar and like puts it out. Uh, he, the, the orc kind of gestures to the bar. He's like, you want to find any captains? Speak, speak to Tyburn. He, he knows all the captains in this place. I'm just a soldier. Unless you've got, unless you've got work for a bodyguard, I'm not interested. Oh, well, definitely good to have have someone with that skill set on the radar. We'll keep you in mind, buddy. Mm. Yeah, I'll be here if you want uh, protection from dying. He kind of looks at Sentry when he says that. Uh, and you can see that there's this, there's an arrogance, but it's a very much born an arrogance born from expertise. Uh, this guy does look like he has been through hell and back. Uh, perhaps even literally, um, judging by some of the kind of like big scars, like clawed scar burns on his neck. Looks like he's probably fought like demons and stuff like that before. Um, yeah, and he just kind of like nods uh, and gestures, gestures towards the man at the bar, which is where Quill and Lucius are heading. Uh, now, you do we have to buy a drink or I don't really know I how mean, this whole I... thing works, Lucius. Are you asking this? In character or no, you're asking Lucius, okay. But yeah. do, do you have credits on you? That's the currency. We got, we got some from but I don't I don't know how much it will get us. What, is there like a menu behind the bar or No. L let's just go with it and just act like we belong and that's how we move forward, right? Look how well okay. Sentry and Ayla are doing over there. Let's just they're talking, they're mingling. Let's just do what they do, right? But Sentry and Ayla could belong here. Look at us, Lucius. <laughs> yeah, the two of you kind of make your way over to the bar and stand. You can see that the, the rough-looking Durgar and the weird spider creature are at one end, the drunk Medu the drunk snake lady, drunk Medusa, is at the other who Nova is approaching. Um, and yeah, you guys kind of stand in the middle. Uh, as you approach, the, the dark-skinned fellow behind the bar kind of turns around. He, offers, he flashes you a, a, a kind of warming smile. It's like, well, howdy there, friends. Uh, how can, what can I get you? Welcome Hello. to the, the last This weather. is me and my bird friend. Could we both <laughs> have a beverage? Please. He is an elf. Uh... Yep, sure is. I can tell that. Uh, of course hey, you can have. What, what, what are you drinking? What, what do you want? Uh, we drink just... information. Yes. You drink information. No, we, uh, <laughs> we're we looking for information. Uh, knowledge. Um, we're trying to... Uh, looking for a ship to take us somewhere. Do you know any captains? I do, yes. I, friend, you can calm down. It's fine. You don't need to worry about so much. Uh, yeah, I know lots of captains. There's a few. There's a few in here today. I can point them out to you if you're looking to hire somebody. Uh, you, did you want a drink? Uh, yeah, well, this I'll is have a drink. Bar. Thank you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, sure. Mm -hmm. Anything? Anything in particular, or should I just serve you something I think you might like? The usual uh, uh, on this planet stuff that we would usually have as locals, right, buddy yes, Quill? In, yes, that's same for me, please. My favorite. You guys are the local worst. local drinks. Sure. And he kind of local looks at you. Absolute worst. Yeah. He local looks at you. For local people. Yeah. He he gives you both a very strong look. He kind of like he just like nods and he turns and he pours out what looks to be like some sort of beer or ale, a uh, very light, uh, bubbly looking beverage. Um, in just two tall glasses. He brings it back, puts little uh, stone circles down on the bar, and then he puts the drinks on them. Uh, he just says, like, there you go. Thank you. Uh, would you like the the monetary 
uh, equivalent mm. of these beverages now, or as and is... being locals, being locals, you would know exactly how much that is. Absolutely, sure. Quill. Uh, I I'm used to paying <laughs> easily. Uh, down down the road, we used to pay two <laughs> credits for these. Two credits each. each. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> he he oh, leans boy. in, he leans in, and he kind of puts his he puts his elbows on the bar and leans in. He's like, "Gentlemen, if you're gonna try and pretend to be around here, you gotta do a better job of this. All right? I'm not now. If you if you're not from if you're from somewhere else and you're in a spot of trouble, I mean, it's none of my business. I don't care." I don't charge people for the basic drinks. If you start racking up a tab, then I'll charge you. But the city refunds a lot of what gets spent here, so you don't oh, need to pay him. I'm, I'm sorry, you just have to understand. We're freaking out. You, well, that's going to get you into more trouble than anything else. Just try and okay. stay calm, please. Okay. Uh, now, you said you're looking for captains. Hmm. Mm hmm. Yeah, there's a, mm. there's a few in here. Uh, most folks around in the spaceport, they've probably got ongoing jobs, but there's there's a few captains I know who have uh, recently, uh, they're looking for work. So if you're looking to hire somebody, uh, there's a few. And he th he gestures towards the passed out snake lady that Nova is going to speak to. Uh, uh, that's Captain Thalia. She's, uh, she's, uh, she's a bit of a firebrand, but she's a good captain. She's got a good crew. Uh, she's got a good ship too, fast. Uh, mm. uh, you can speak to her. She's uh, she's a bit of a handful, but she's uh, she's a good captain. Like I said, she's uh, out of work at the moment. He points to the insect creature who has now given up trying to arm wrestle the Minotaur, um, <laughs> and is just angrily like eating these kind of small eggs. He's just kind of like snatching them up and, <laughs> and just gets sucked up into his mouth and he looks furious um even though he's an ex insectoid <laughs> you can't really read his expression but he looks pissed Body. uh he points that little angry ball of uh spines and chitin is uh zix 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 three arms he's a he's a captain he's got a living ship kind of rare around these parts um he's a he's a violent one but if you're looking for a captain and you're looking for somebody that can hold their own in a fight zix zix is pretty good uh, fight, fight. We, why, would you, why would you insinuate that we are... Uh, I don't make any... Uh, well, he lost one of his arms. They normally... Mesoloths normally have four arms, but he lost one. Uh, the way I heard it tells, it was ripped off by a star dragon, but I'm not sure if that's true. Uh, he had it replaced a few years back, but the name just stuck around. Um, huh. But that's Zigzix. Uh, over there, and he points to the gang of ten kobolds. <laughs> He's like, uh, that there, ooh, they are technically, they technically have a ship and they are technically free to take on a job because nobody else will hire them. Uh, that is oh. the Tic Tac tribe uh, led by <laughs> Prince, led by Prince Tactic. Oh my God, uh, I want to be... <laughs> That is, they are led by Prince Tactic. Uh, he is a very ambitious little kobold. Uh, their ship is nothing. Is really just a bunch of scavenger junk stapled together. Um, Do we keep so them? It's not the giant uh, pill-shaped ship on the outside. No, you you don't. I don't think you guys would have seen the ship from where you were coming from. Uh, it's not the giant pill-shaped ship. No. Damn it. Okay. No. Uh, uh, no. Is this something that we? Funny joke. For? But no. This is very no. good information no. for us. Oh, yeah. The thing is, is that these. Look, let me put it this way. Captains come to here, they dock at the port, they come to my bar. They spend a lot of money on drinks and sleeping hangovers off and getting into fights and paying for repairs. So, if I get them work, they're more likely to come back here. So, no, it's fine. Right. Don't worry, friend. Well, thank uh, you. Last, yeah. sure, she's an interesting one. This last captain, he points to the armored suit that is currently cleaning itself. That there is Lorelei Blazeborn. Now that is a being I have never seen before in my life. In all my years here in, in Ishtar, never seen anything like her before. Her ship is it's a Skull Lord class. Now that's a powerful warship, and how she got hold of it, I do not know. They used they're extinct, I think. No more nobody flies around in Skull Lords anymore. 
It's called the Conflagrant Vagrant. She doesn't have a crew at the moment, though, because the last crew all died. Way I hear it is they uh, they suffocated to death after the ship got hit. She forgot to turn the oxygen back on because she didn't realize they needed it. Oh. So. <laughs> oh, oh my god. Wow. Oh. <laughs> uh, I kind of hear it. That one. <laughs> he leans in. I, I, vote, I vote her. He leans in. The thing about her is, oh, I've got a sneaking suspicion that she's on the Valkyrian wanted list. But she's scary enough that nobody's come to find her just yet. So oh. if you want to hire her, I'd yes. hire her quick. That one. Yeah. 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 Anyway, wait. <laughs> let me. Get... I'm gonna. It's unanimous, I think. He kind of like is like. Anyway, gentlemen, enjoy the drinks. I'm just gonna go deal with. Uh, I'm just gonna go take care of something at the back. I'm just gonna go get some thank, supplies. Thank uh, Nova. Uh, you go over, you kind of make your way down the bar, um, and you make your way to this, this woman who is currently slouched over on the bar. You can see that there are about four glasses of a very colorful liquid around her, um, and she's kind of playing. You thought she was passed out, but she's not. She's playing with several peanuts, and she's flicking them into an empty cup, um, on the floor behind the bar. She's like, eh, fuck. Fuck. Yes! And she's just like slowly going down the line, flicking them into the cup. Um, and when she hears you coming, the snakes on her hair see you coming first, and they just let out a gentle sort of like... And she's just like, eh, it's fine, kids, don't... She's like, it's fine, kids, don't worry. And then she kind of leans around, and you can see that she has very delicate elven features, but yeah, has her hair has become this mess of tangle of snakes she has little patches of scales and skins down her thing she wears like a loose blouse with this like nathan drake-esque gun harness um but the blouse is very loose and kind of keeps mostly is mostly open she doesn't seem to give a shit uh, about any of her extremities being on display um and then she has a uh, uh, like a han solo utility belt and then these tight leather leggings and she looks up and she's like Hey there, little pretty cloud. What do you want? Hi there, really pretty snaky lady person. Look I just, at you. I just wanted to check you were okay, because, you know, you, you just seem a bit inebriated, oh, and sisters got to look out for each other. She like slaps a hand on your your hand, like she's like it's like that is so sweet. You're a little sweetie, you are. Yeah, give me a drink. Buy me a drink, uh, please. Oh, just okay. one. Okay, I just want have one. You not, have you not had too too much? Like, do you think I don't? Don't be silly. I, I can never have too much. Captain Thalia just, can I... drink anyone under the table. Oh, Captain, hey! Um, I'm a I just captain don't of want... a starship. Oh, what's the name of your starship? Here we go. It's, it's a great ship. And she kind of, she uh -huh. the hand that she put on your, she kind of slapped your hand. She now grabs your shoulder and is like pulling you closer into her, where she uses you to kind of hoist herself up uh, into a sitting position. And she gets really close to your, like, she's like cheek to cheek. The hair, the snakes kind of wrap around and you can hear them hissing. One of their tongues kind of tickles the back of your neck. Um, and she's like, it's called the Twin Star. And it's super fast. And it's really good. Ooh. And I, I, oh. I eat once. I broke the record to get through. <clears throat> and she kind of like holds her mouth for a minute. And then she quickly oh, that... leans over the bar and yeah. pukes all down okay. over the bar. There we go. There we go. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. There oh, you go. Fuck. I'm going to try and like hold her snakes back, you know, just like pat her back. <laughs> like, the, don't the, get your, the snakes don't are get like. Your snakes in there. Yeah. Do the snakes throw up <laughs> individually? <laughs> no, the snakes don't throw up. No, the snakes, the snakes kind of actually look kind of relieved that yeah. she's throwing up. Uh, and you I'm just, just hear her like. I'm trying to help you guys. Uh, <laughs> Tybrin's gonna kill me. Oh. And then she looks, she's yeah, like, what? Hang on, who are you? Do I owe you money? No, no, no. You were, you know, trying to have a little are you buying me a on. drink? The, uh, yeah. maybe. 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 Man. 
Do you drink Wait, this you're much talking normally? To me. Oh, yeah, hi, I drink yes, this much I all the time. Wait, you're you're actually talking to me? Nobody talks to yeah. me. They, they keep being I'm gonna turn them to stone like I'm some sort of savage. Did you not think that I was, was... gonna do that? No. Yeah, I that's did a thing not. I can do. Okay. Alright, good. Okay, fine. Uh, oh wait, I do remember you. You were yeah, you came up. Yeah, yeah, I remember now. What was your name? Did you tell me your name? I, I don't think you told me your no. name. No. No, I didn't. My name is Nova. I told you Vigier. my name though, didn't I? Yes, no, you did, Captain no. Talia. Of the yeah, twin that's me. star. Oh, that's me. Listen, I am still pretty drunk. I'm not as like uh, that helped, and mm -hmm. she points down at the vomit. Like that really helped, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. I'm just I I am just a little woozy. Why are you talking to me? Did you tell me this already? No, you threw up on the bar before I got anywhere close to that. That's good. At um, least then this is a fresh start with a slightly clearer yeah. head. Okay. Great. So Spaceship fast, zoom yep. faster than. Oh yeah, my yeah my ship yeah the twin star. It's it's a look. Don't worry about it. It's a fast ship. That's all I'm saying. Okay. You, do you need a yeah. captain? I'm for hire right now. I need money. So if you oh, want to go we... somewhere, hit me up right now. Mm, mm, mm. Preferably okay, today. Um... Hmm. Uh, we mm, two places. Two, 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 two ideas. Hang on, two. Two ideas. Go on. What? Hi. Yeah. Two. One. One. Um. The, do you know the planet where Jasavir is? Ja Jasavir. Or or Eartris. Um, Ganassi. Ruin? Lots yeah. of Ganassi. Yeah, hmm? the Ganassi homeworld. Yeah, Gana Ganass. It's called Ganass, the planet. Uh, the the Jasavir. Yeah, yeah. That's a ruin. Why? What? Oh. Okay, how yeah, far away like, is that? Yeah, like, it's... Pretty, Ganass is pretty far from, from Elysium. It's it's out in the... I mean, you'd, you're talking... Even even if you go via Styx or the Infinite Staircase, we're talking days of travel. Um, do you want to go... Of course you want to go there. You're a Ganassi. You want to go home. Wait, then yeah. you... Yeah. Wait. Huh? Okay, never huh? mind. What? Sure, I can yeah. take you there. Like, I... if that's where you want to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course. Well, it's, I... it's a few days' travel. <laughs> How much, much coin credits? Uh, uh, credits. That's what you use. Credits. She looks at you and she's just like, just you. Uh, there's a few others. Uh, five total. How many? Including me. Five. Five total. Five. Five, huh? Okay. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's, you're talking uh, Ganas. I mean, it's it's kind of the same to get anywhere in the system that's at that kind of range. You're looking at about uh, it'd be a thousand credits up front for fuel and supplies. Um, and then I normally take a payment when we arrive at the place. That can be more credits, but I also am willing to barter and trade. Uh, Excuse me. Yeah, maybe Sorry, maybe we can work something out, though. Okay. Yeah, they'll do that. Um, other, other location. Oh, your steaks really are tickling, but okay. Um, All right, okay. Uh, boys, boys, come on. Leave, leave her alone. And the snakes will kind of like coil oh. back and, and kind of form into like a little ponytail. They kind of all kind of slither into a point and then That's droop amazing. down. Yeah, you um, think that. It's funny how... Do you know... And she looks at you. She says, the thing is, you say that, right? It's amazing. Not many people say that. Being a Medusa is a... T you know, technically it's a curse. But you know what? I've made it work for me. I've just made it work for me, you know? First of all, you know I can what? turn people to stone. That's really useful. That's, yeah, that's a handy trick. Like, you know, I can and imagine also, as a space captain as well. You know, that's useful. Do you know the fey bitch that did this to me? It was like, I'm going <laughs> to teach you for arrogance and being proud of how good you look. And I'm like, you know what? I still look damn good. So fuck you. I, I'm great. I agree. I agree. You look fantastic. You're a... Fan look, Terry, right, don't try the flirting with me when I'm still drunk, okay? I know what you're doing. Don't yeah. look down the blouse. Okay. Looking down the blouse. Don't look down the blouse. Looking at this right there, but don't look down the blouse. Yeah, hi. Um, uh, Eyes up. The... Eyes up, Ganassi. Mm, yeah. Blouse. Um, Where's the other place the other, the, mm, <clears throat> So I'm a little bit, um, this is embarrassing being a scholar. I'm a bit astronomically and geographically misplaced right now. Bit lost. Right. Um, yep. So I'm not entirely. <clears throat> uh, um, yeah. You know, mm, mm, am I going to say okay, it? I just, just, can we get um, to the point? Like, Aroes. this is, you know I'm, this, I'm struggling. Do you know where Aroes? Do you, do you know where Aroes? 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 Mm. Why does that yes. ring a bell? Rings... Mm. I don't. Or the system it's in. Just the system it's in. My nav, my nav, my navigator will probably know. I, I, it's ringing a bell oh, in my yeah. head. I, I remember something from a few hundred years ago. 
But Bim, mm. Bim will know where it is. He's a nerd oh, for okay. star charts, so he'll know. Okay. Um, I mean, Sounds yeah, good. it's it's pro it can't be it can't be further out than Ganas, so it'd probably it'd be that we're talking about the same price. Do you want to go to Ganas then this place? Because that's a lot more expensive. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm getting that. No, I'd have to talk to my companions and um, ask them. But hey, can okay. I get you a drink? Can I get you another drink? What's the strongest drink here? Do you want another yeah. drink? Yeah, yeah. Oh, you absolutely can. Get me a, get me yeah, a, okay. a Gideon, a Gideon, for sure. Okay, I love hey. Them. I love uh, Gideons. Can I have a Yeah, you call Gideon the bartender the and that's... Okay, yeah. The bartender then is going yeah. down as he leaves Lucius and Quill. Um, mm -hmm. Lucius and Quill, when you're kind of left alone with your beers for a moment, uh, it doesn't take long before... Uh, two figures approach you from the other end of the bar. Um, as you are approaching, the spider creature gets right up into Quill's... Like, it, it walks up to Quill and shoves Quill on the shoulder. Uh, and it Whoa. looks at you with this kind of beady, spidery face, and it just goes... What? Uh... He just looks at you and like slams like a clawed hand on the bar and just jabs it. He's, he's got like, these tiny little hands and then these bigger, longer arms. And his two little hands are just jet pointing in your direction. Uh, the Durgar comes up beside him and you can see it's got like an eye patch and a long gray beard. He's got some sort of like almost like a, an arcane looking crossbow, but it doesn't have any bolts in it. Uh, and he just leans around and just goes, He said he doesn't like you. <laughs> Perfect. I didn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't like you. Hey, you leave, you leave my friend alone. You I don't spider. like you either. I don't. What Never do seen mean? a bird man before. No, this is our bar. You shouldn't be in here. Look at you. You're just weaklings. I did. You don't I'm belong baffled. here. I'm baffled that you dislike us. You decided to get closer to us. Hey, hey. You better be careful. He's pointing at Lucius. I'm We've so served on careful. over 12 systems. We're dangerous well, hey. men. <laughs> Fuck. If, you, if you got to know us, I think you'd like us quite a lot. You got him! I got feel him. like I was like, he didn't pick up on it until then. I did. Um, I was just trying to... <laughs> okay, you're trying to keep it keep it stoned. And navigate oh, it. Oh, in that on way. Yeah. Years, you finally got him! <laughs> uh... Um, what, so what do you want to... What, why? Why don't you like us? I, I think we're quite... Get out! Uh, I don't, don't like the way you look, and he doesn't like the way you smell. Well, uh... What? Uh, have you know, I pride myself on my hygiene and the cologne I wear. I so... pride myself on my hygiene! <laughs> and then, uh, fuck off, elf! <laughs> Wow, Get out. this well, is extremely intense. Do, do I hear this? Uh, can I see I think, this? Yeah, I think like yeah, Sentry and Ayla, uh, and probably no, you all see like you all see these two hassling can Lucius we, and Quill. Can we walk over? <laughs> yeah, cut his arm off. <laughs> yeah. At this point, I think I'm tearing up and crying. <laughs> and Lucius is like, <laughs> and he's he just he's doing that annoying mocking thing wherever Lucius tries to say something, the Durgar is just like. <laughs> and the spider thing is just in front of Quill, looming, looming over Quill, and just like shoving you, just like trying to grab you and shove you. Why? Uh, sentry, Sentry, would you mind looming over um, that that thing there, in a, like a yeah, threatening way? Yeah. Yeah. Shall we? Shall we go and do that? Yeah. Yeah. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you guys we'll, we'll what, move up behind the two, hassling the other two. Yeah. Well, how can I improve my body odor? I don't know, understand. <laughs> you smell fine, Lucius. Don't worry about it. I just want this guy to stop pushing me. Stop, please. You smell, smell like a wet back. fart. You smell like somebody who's just shitting their britches. You disgust hey, me. Excuse me there, friend. You hear, you hear like, what? And he turns around and he, the Durgar being a dwarf, looks at Ayla's like belt buckle, like, like into her stomach <laughs> and then has to look up. Uh, and he sees you like looming down him. He's like, what do you want? I think you should stop making fun of my friend there because, you know, that's my job, not yours. I think that you should bash your face in. Huh? You huh? want me to bash my own face in? Do you, are you even listening to what you're saying? Are you even listening to what you're saying? Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> it's just repeating things. Is that all you got? Okay, sure. 
like looks around. The the sentry, what's sentry doing as you kind of loom behind this spider creature that's like jabbing Quill and like shoving him? I'll just stand behind him. just going, like, stop it! Quit it! <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll let my matrix like glow up a little bit. And I'll just like. Just say, um, do you mind leaving him alone? The spider creature kind of whips around. And it looks at you. This one's a little... It's taller than the Durgar, but it's nowhere near as tall as Sentinel Prime. Uh, so it also has to look up at you. So you have, like, these staggered heights kind of going on. Uh, and it kind of looks up at you with this this kind of, yeah, twisted, spidery face. Uh, and it looks up at you and it's just like... I don't know what you're saying. I'm sorry, but we're all in this establishment. So do you mind just stepping away a little bit? That'd be great. Uh, the Durgar's just like, ah, She's don't so listen to her. Don't listen to this one. She hasn't got the nerve. All these polite words. Bleh. You're all just weaklings. That's what you all are. You're just weak little sheeps. Uh, doing what you're told. <laughs> sitting in the bar. Weak. You stink. <laughs> you stink. And I hate you. All of you. Bleh. How does he smell? <laughs> he smells awful. He smells terrible. <laughs> He smells just like fetid gases. There's like stinks of like sulfur <laughs> eggs. Uh, and the spider smells disgusting as well. It smells like wet mulch. Oh. No, you. I'll just let the, <laughs> let the lightning crackle up my arms a little bit. Sure. Just... Do you want to make, a, uh, make an intimidate check for me? You can give yourself advantage. Okay. No, you. <laughs> yeah, he, he does not seem to be the brightest uh, star in the galaxy. Oh, that's a five. Oh, I rolled like trash. <laughs> uh, uh, he looks up, he's like, so what, is that ten. supposed to scare me? Is that supposed to scare me? Little sparkly fingers? Um, you miss sparkles? Little miss sparkly fingers? No, but it will scare you when I hit you in the face with this hammer. So why don't you, I would why suggest don't you, that you, you back off. You don't have the stove. What no, stones? I just can't be bothered to deal with you. Look at you. What do you I mean? Don't like, have the I could take you down. I would. I. I could take you down in one punch, and then I'd eat your eyeballs. He might do yeah, it, Ada. We that. should back away. No. Is it's there? Fine. Is anyone else but... like watching this? This. This happen? Everybody. Like... Everybody is watching this, but nobody's doing anything. The. The. All the different captains, except Thalia, who is absolutely just talking with Nova at this point. Uh, the other three, so the insectoid, the kobolds, and then the big suit of armor are watching. Um, and they're just watching to see what's going to happen, to see what you guys are going to do. Uh, who wants to do what? I will, I will messenger sentry. ring. Okay, saying... hang on. Sentry? I, I was just what are you saying, Rihanna? I'm um, trying to step between the, um, the spider guy and Quill and just try and nudge him back and just get him out of the okay. way a little bit. Give me, give me a not, strength not like, athletic like stick then. But just like, just like stand, just like in between. Okay. Wait, yeah, yeah. You say, okay, in that case, yeah, you stand in between him easily. Like, you, you kind of get in the way. And the, the spider's turned its attention to you now. It's not bothering Quill. Uh, it's focused on you. Uh, Ayla, go on. Okay. Um, I'm just gonna messenger ring and be like, mm, really want to punch this guy in the face. However, we're on a planet where we're trying not to be, you know, discovered by people, and I think that that might draw a bit of attention. So, any ideas before I get real mad and do just hit him in the face? Do not draw a weapon. Just if anything, let him hit you first. Then you're in the Self clear. Self defense. Ah, of course. I just can't be bothered. Uh, Did we find a captain? Just curious. Can we go yet? Uh, they're like, the, the little Durgar is just like, what, have you spaced out? Not got enough brain cells up in that thick skull? I thought you else were supposed to be clever. I guess maybe you're like the runt of the litter, huh? And he's like kicking your shins. Just like, not hard, but enough to be annoying. But he's also not reaching for his weapon. Like, he shows no signs of taking any aggressive actions. But he's doing everything he can to try and get you to... Like, he's trying to provoke uh, you guys, 100%, this little shitty Durga. Um, the orc is watching you. The orc that you and Sentry were talking to earlier, Ayla, is just got his arms folded, and he's watching you very carefully to see, again, to see how you, you, you take care of it. Maybe we should buy him a drink or something. Ah, uh, maybe you should buy him a drink. 
Give me all your money, pretty elf. <laughs> How much money you got, elf boy? I have nothing. <laughs> so you're a poor loser. Well, I guess... So you're literally <laughs> trash. You're walking trash. You're just garbage. You don't even belong in here. Get in the gutter. Wow. Uh, the three Eladrin girls literally stand up on the table and shout across the light. Hey, shut the fuck up. We're trying to listen to some <laughs> sorrow over here. <laughs> <laughs> if you don't I'm shut sorry. that stupid fucking mouth, I'm gonna come over there and shut it for you, you stupid Durgar. <laughs> the Durgar now like, looks over. Is yeah. there like the any, out of curiosity, is there any like yeah. coat hooks? <laughs> or anything that I could like just. Sure. Absolutely. At, pick the, him at up the entrance, and there's just... um. Yeah. It looks Shut like up. it's like a hat rack, like an old, like a, a weird, futury hat rack. <laughs> can I just <laughs> pick him up? The floor. Can I pick him yeah, up? You can. Make, make a strength the athletics rack. check for me. Yeah, make, uh, make an athletics check for me. This goes well. Oh no. Um, I'll make uh, I'm rolling terribly. Um, okay, uh, uh, what's the total? Athletics. Uh, oh, yeah. okay, hang on, what did I roll? 11. 11. 19. <laughs> it's still enough. Wait, like this guy you. has no oh. strength. You, you, as soon as you pick him up, you realize that he is in. Like he, he doesn't have any muscles. He's just this like little thin. He's quite fat, but he doesn't really have a lot of like muscle strength to him. He's, he looks like he's quite hardy. Um, and he's, he, but you just lift him up off the ground. He's like, what are you doing? Fat, put me down. And then you walk over. You stick him on the hat rack, and then you walk back. I'm assuming. I just think you need a bit of a time out, man. Like just calm down. <laughs> Away. He's like he's trying to reach step. behind him. Uh, yeah, he's trying to reach behind him and like let him loose and stuff. Uh, quite a few laughs and chuckles uh, echo around the bar. Uh, but eventually, yeah, just like uh, he does go quiet. And then you just hear him like, <laughs> Spider, get over here. And then the little air cap kind of stops looking at Sentry, looks back to the Durgar, and it kind of slowly kind of saunters over to him, dragging its long arms across the floor, lifts him, picks him up, puts him down. And then the Durgar's just like, and then they both leave, and they both kind of <laughs> scoot out of the room. Um, okay. Yes. Okay. Um, uh, and with that, that is a one? point to take a break. <laughs> it's half, 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 half. What just Did happened? <laughs> that, well, we're going to take a break. What, That's what happened. What just oh. happened is Mark got however long, like, you know, worth of frustrations out on Tom and Trot. Like, just fucking swearing at them for, like, ten minutes straight in character. I also, oh, shit. I also shit. just... Your shit. I also just wanted to... I also just wanted to do the Star Wars bit, to be honest. I yeah. just wanted to do, like, yeah. my friend doesn't yeah. like you, and then see where it went. Uh, yeah. Right, <laughs> let's take a break. Uh... I haven't had yeah, social insecurities in such a long time, so thanks for bringing that back, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> you smell like shit. Wow. Uh, what a yeah, good idea. Right. All right. Oh my We're going to take a quick five minute break. We're going to play some ads. Uh, Tom's going to read some donations. Trot might read some donations. Um, and we're all going to go get a drink. I'm going to go get a drink right now. Bye. I'm going to play some Play some more in a bit. Um, until then, we. I sure love it when Mr. Altissimo donates because he donates, or no, he because it's Mr. donates a quarter hundo. Hey all, hope you are all well. Been having uh, to keep up with the VODs ever since uh, I've been working on Sundays. Really enjoying Strad and can't wait to see what happens later tonight after work. <laughs> uh, Jody Poser. <laughs> 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 Oh, God. Josie Poser uh, also donated. Where'd that go? I've lost it. I've lost it. Sorry. <laughs> um, uh, there it is. With another quarter hundo, I escaped VOD Squad. I love you all and everything you do. I'm so excited to see what happens in both Erois and Curse of Strahd. Thank you very much and well done for catching up. Um, Smurfette505, uh, first time I was able to catch you guys live after binging Erois for a few months. I'm finally caught up on this uh, and Strahd. So now on to Rogue's Gambit, then Lightfall. Thank you for providing us entertainment during quarantine. Love you guys. Thank you very much. Frankly, NPC, episode prediction. The Sloths have one day to get out of town and do so via a high-stakes game of poker. I mean, could go there. 
Ayla meets another space elf. Hasn't happened yet, but it may just be another Brookstone. Hopefully not. And Daddy is alive in space. Oh, those wacky sloths. I mean, the poker could happen, and we haven't actually met another space elf yet. Bah! Gabby! <laughs> <laughs> that's just so quick <laughs> oh, oh my god oh, hello hi <laughs> rollers long time watcher first time donor from across the pond in denmark i hope you uh, all have a wonderful time and stay safe in these times also somebody needs to kiss quill on the beak to let him know he is more than the snack he is snack <laughs> <laughs> what uh, sure i'll go with that Thank you. Uh, Darth Day 41. <laughs> Darth Day 41. Never mind the D&D stream. I'd be happy with three hours of these adverts, sponsor shout outs, whatever these bits are. Happy <laughs> dice rolling. <laughs> Keep safe, guys. Oh, no. Kyle, what God, did five you need a break? Uh, uh, you should go I'll now. read out the no. Yogs one. Actually, I guess I will go while you can do that speaking. Yes. Well. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I will do some while Trot is gone, and then um, yeah, then I'll take a little break as well. Kylie one hundred and five with a quarter hundo for three years. I've been clawing my way out of the vod goblin pile, and I am finally <laughs> here live today. This cash nice. goes uh, to the for the love of God Quill Heal People Fund. Thanks for all the years. <laughs> well, there's an emote for that now. Um, yeah. Enri Solven with another quarter hundo. This party needs to start making a separate gold fund to prepare for Quill's next injury. I'll make the first donation towards it. Man. Um, yeah, I wonder what my next one will be. Broken legs. I haven't had that yet. Nick You need money Gill. for chat. Oh, yeah, I do. I need to make a load of money. Get myself that luscious chest. I need it. Nick Gill. Uh, Hedge HR. Love the stream. Hey, I guess. Uh, we need to ask if A. Plumbus is an agent of Starbane. Yeah. Is that why he made all the books over all of the planets? <laughs> he could be. Maybe we'll meet him one day. I really hope we do. Smurfette 505. Caught the beginning, but now I'm joining VOD Squad because I have a project to work on. Only two weeks left until college is done, but then I can watch you guys as much as I want. Have fun and don't die. Thank you very much. We'll see you then. That Norwegian yeah. guy Getting some Treasure Planet vibes from this, which is one of my favorite things. Cheers for the stream. And then... Big influence. And then, Mr. Listos with 300... Wow. What? A Thank 300. You. Thank you. Oh, my Generous. God. Thank um, you. Jeez. And through the darkest portals and forbidding mists, you folks shine bright in our lives. Thank you for everything. Well, Mr. Listos, thank you, thank you for that one as well. Uh, hopefully that wasn't an extra O and was meant to be just 30. But if so, thank you very, very much. Um, ah! <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then I will leave it there. Uh, yeah, take a break. Trot to read some, and then we will do some more when we finish. At the end. Thank you very much, yeah. Mr. Listos, and thank you very much, everybody else. But as soon as Tom gets back, we'll jump back into the game. So, All right. Uh, Go I think there is two here, if I'm not mistaken. Well, so I'll Tom read those out quick. nice and slowly. Thank you to Nightjar <laughs> for giving us a less than three emote, which also equates to a, a love heart. Thank you, Nightjar, <laughs> for that donation 41 minutes ago. That's nice. Thank you, Nightjar, very much. <laughs> It's really nice that you would donate to us. <laughs> Anything like else, this. Trot? Yeah, we got another one. So, a person donated straight after Night Jar uh, with money. And it was some time ago. And they're called Raging Rhino 10101. And they donated, much like Night Jar did. Oh, they have a message as well, which is nice. So I'll read that in a bit. <laughs> so they said... He's back. I love a rose in space. Top quality content as ever. Also, can I point out that it is very easy to mistake Katie's mirror for a door. Thanks again. <laughs> I do keep thinking yeah. that's like a whole... Illusions. 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 <laughs> 
very nice mirror. An illusion. Ikea, Ikea's finest copper mirror. Enjoy. What are you hiding? Ah, uh, cool. All right. Welcome back, Tommy. Hello. Are we ready to play a game? Are we ready to continue? Oh, yes. I yeah. want to keep flirting with Medusa. He, he has no idea what's happened okay. as well. He's, he has um, no idea. Tom, just before we went on break, I think there was something you wanted to do or ask or say or something in character. Do you want me to reset the scene? Um, reset the scene. Reset the scene. All right. You are all in the, the Last Feather, a bar that sits on the starport of Ishtar City. It is filled with a very colorful cast of characters. And <laughs> having just uh, dealt with a very aggressive and annoying Durgar, uh, you are now presented with a number of options. Uh, Nova is currently speaking to uh, Medusa, who appears to be a starship captain, while the rest of the party have reconvened at the bar. Um, that is where we are now. Uh... Okay, <clears throat> now that that guy and that other thing is out of the way, um, what do we do? What do we do? I mean, should we talk to someone other, some other captain? Anyone? Anyone I don't wanna want to talk to anyone. anyone. <laughs> so we, the guy that we talked to isn't a captain, so he, he can be a bodyguard oh. if you want him, but, but he's not a captain, so no luck from us. Okay. He said he's I mean, died we like don't five know. times. Yeah. Like, we didn't ask okay. for details, but maybe he's. I I like I mean, to imagine very he threw himself in front of people and died. I don't really like the idea of hiring a bodyguard that dies a lot. Depends <laughs> it's how he's just, doing. Maybe it. It's just what he does. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, I mean, we, me and Lucius, we we spoke to at least one person who is kind of nice, and they said that. Potentially, the uh, fiery armor over there, um, she, it might be the best bet, maybe. But she is fiery uh, armor. She... What would she do? Okay, she, why, she's a captain. Why? why would she be the best bet? Uh, because she messengering might be wanted by Starbane. I'm so listed. Or or at least the Valkyrian Empire, anyway. And that means that her allegiance at least stands with us, because, I mean, we're in the same boat, right? Question. Uh, okay. Does also uh, having someone that is wanted by the army that we're trying to leave the planet of point a huge target on our bank? Not yeah. if we move quickly. By the army, on top of everything else, out of interest. It's probably the person we can be most open with. Right. Right? Uh, Do we know why she's wanted by the army? She could also just be a criminal uh, who's not trustworthy in any sense. We could That's... talk to her and see. Yeah. It's worth trying. While you guys are having this conversation, uh, Nova, uh, they, you buy a drink. It doesn't actually cost you anything. Like uh, it seems that like the if you ask for a drink, the the bartender gives it to you, thinking it's for you. And then Thalia takes it, and he kind of gives you a look of like, I'm not. I didn't want to give her any more. <laughs> of like, uh, I wish I'd known it was for her. Um, but she just kind of like takes it, and it's just like, nah, drinks it. Uh, and she kind of like rubs, like finishes, like she claps her hands. She's like, well then, uh, Neva, uh, Nerva. No, Nerva. Nerva's fine. That's fine. Nerva. 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 Uh, you're a pretty little thing. Uh, if you need a captain, I am ready to go. Where Where are your companions? Where, who Duh, are they? They're the ones getting shouted at by the... the spite? spite? <laughs> yeah, the Entercap. I hate that guy. He's a, he's a, he's a jerk. Uh, oh, he seems like it, oh look, he? she's just picked him up and put it in the Dugar on the, on the hangar. That's really funny. Yeah, I like her. Sus, she seems great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ayla, that's Oops. great. Uh, great. Well, should we go and speak to them? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah. I'm. I. The sooner I, I'll need a few hours to get things together. But bam, so I am. I'm ready to go. I do well. I do a lot of my best. I do my best. Well, it's not really flying. <laughs> You've never. Bless you. You don't really travel, do you? You don't. You don't fly through the astral sea. You sail the astral sea. Right? It's very different. You think it's flying? Sail, it's very sweet. You're very cute. You're very sweet. No, you're, you're really cute too. Boops. Uh, cute's um, not. Uh, cute's cute's not. 
that don't use cute to describe me, right? Okay, it's not cute. Okay, I'm Beautiful. sexy. That's, Ravishing. that's good. You're learning. Perfect. Oh, I like you even better. And she kind of like rubs like a. And you can see like she has very delicate nails, and she kind of like you know kind of rubs the side of your cheek in a kind of very God, patronizingly affectionate way. And she, yeah, she definitely does. <laughs> um, but she kind of stands up awkwardly, a little bit swaying, puts a hand on your shoulder to steady herself. Okay. How, how about how about you just you just wait here for a minute? Maybe I'll get you another drink. Water water um and i'll just i'll just talk to the it, the the man who's crying over there and the bird who's crying over there and um i'll i'll be back, I'll tell you I'll what, be back in a moment you do that i'll i'll talk to my crew and i'll ask okay. bim if he knows uh, yeah i'll see if he what he knows about where you want to go okay 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 you just she pulls out like a up. small stone she pulls out a small stone device bim <laughs> she starts talking into it <laughs> shut up Shut up, all right? I'm the captain. Shut up. I got a question for you, and then you begin making your way yeah. back to the, the rest of the group. Hey! Oh, I found hi. The captain. Um, Why are you saying what? hey like you've got something bad to tell us? No, but that's your hey, I messed that's up. That's a bad news, hey. Sound okay? Well, yeah. no, I think she's fine, but she's very drunk and very pukey. Um, but apparently she's got a ship and she's fast and she has breasts and she has a navigator called Bim and wow what happened to you? Okay. Mm. Uh, we oh, um, okay Lucius why are you crying? Uh, the, the man said mean things and uh, frankly I'm questioning everything right now He's and a bit maybe delicate. I, I should switch oh, my Lucius. cologne or something and he was picking on Quill Lucius, what have you I told are... you before? Like, I've told you that you shouldn't listen to meanies because they're all idiots and they don't have anything interesting to say. And you are also, a fine... Also, I put him on the... the exactly. The hanger, so. Ayla's putting him to me now. Look, look, look at how ridiculous he looks right now. Look, he's wriggling around. He can't get... Look, his spider friend can't get him down off the coat hook. That's hilarious. I, I don't want to lower him. myself to his level. Okay, that's fine. Mm. You keep your chin up. You smell wonderful, by the way. You've, I've always thought you have a very good fragrance about you. Quill, you always seem well-groomed as well. Like, I've always thought that you're very good-looking for a bird. Um, my fingers <laughs> smell of vomit. Um, but either way, you're both fine, okay? You're both... I am a good-looking bird. You are a good-looking bird, and you're a good-looking high elf. Thank you, Nova. It um, means a lot. Anyway... <laughs> I mean, anyway. how? What does? Yeah. We need to figure out price because we don't. I don't. I don't assume we don't have a lot. One thousand credits. What does a drunken total? Mm. Well, might have to do a few business pieces. Maybe some bartering with some items. Maybe a starbane statue. I don't know. Like I got a hammer. I could sell. Uh, we could. You know. Yeah. Like I don't know. Yeah. She. Uh, One thousand credits. Also, she could take us to the Ganassi homeworld, but that will take four days, and I don't think you want us to do that. But fine. I. So, wait, but hang, okay, that's okay. I'm so I need a very thorough explanation that goes from start to finish, doesn't include boobs, and involves you talking <laughs> at a normal pace. I think I caught it. Manageable. Wait, I caught it. It's a thousand plus stuff that we have, and that's assuming that we just go to. Wait, does he know where we're going? She know where we're going? Yeah. Um. Well, I asked for two locations. One is Ganass, the Ganassi homeworld, okay. Okay. Ganass. although she said that Jasavir is a ruin. But anyway, that's um that's a story for another day. <laughs> um, and, and then I kind of maybe uh, asked about the other thing, and then I tried to get her drunk so she would forget, um, but then she's now on a call with her navigator to figure out where it is, and it's fine. Wait, she's asking I'm sorry. somebody asking about... What? And uh, that's the point where yeah. you guys kind of look over it, and she's on this little stone, a speaking stone. She's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Erois. Did you get that? Do you know where that is? I, it rings a bell. I think I know where that is. It's something about it, right? No, you know, no, you know where it is, though. Oh. Nova. She Nova's just shouting. Really? <laughs> She's not shouting. <laughs> she just said... That's Mark doing it for comedic effect, but it is loud. And it's you definitely... I think that the large armored uh, figure with the flaming helmet definitely turns and seems to have heard her saying the name of the planet. Okay, we need to talk to the lady real quick. Everybody, we're going to talk to her. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What? get her out of the bar. Get her out of the bar. Tell, tell her she's pretty. Tell, don't, don't, otherwise she'll turn you to stone. 
No, it's but fine. we're not. Which? Uh, no, but no, we're not talking to her. We 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 talk to the she other woman. Be on our side. What? No, I mean we need to stop. Do you not hear? About... You not hear what she, what she just said? She just said, "Oh shit," <sighs> because she's been told. You know what? You that guys are all a bunch of go. warriors. Worry, worry, worry. <laughs> I mean, if Nova's saying that, that's it's, something, it's... right? True, I mean, but it's kind of what we're I in do. an end. We're in a <laughs> den of inequity and filth. You and don't. The, the the Medusa doesn't seem annoyed, or she seems excited. If anything else, it's just like, oh shit! Oh really? Okay. And it Try seems like an excited kind of like. Mm-hmm maybe um but yeah it doesn't seem to be like a like fuck i need to go and dob you into the police kind of excited i just i don't get the feeling that people here are such a big fan of the big s you know the big sb with the v it's true um you can never really know you know you hear heavy armored footsteps Approaching oh. <laughs> uh, um, mm. Hi. Boots. What? This very androgynous form, kind of this big hulking metal body, uh, kind of stomps up to you in this full, completely blocked in helmet. You don't even see the eyes. It's just like a thin slit. And there just is this red or almost flame like, like, eminence coming out of this visor uh and a voice which is feminine but is warped and kind of you know, sounds distorted kind of comes out uh i'm going to pretend that well you know what she just said and i'm assuming that she's asking that on behalf of your ganassi friend here so i have an idea of where you're trying to go and man you really shouldn't be going around and, and say that so that other people, loudmouths like Thalia, can shout it out. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm under the same impression. I was I getting her drunk! Know. I didn't think she'd make a call! She's You're drunk! A drunk person. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <don't laughs> but never yeah. mind, it's happened now. How do we solve this issue? Exactly. Well, listen, living, listen, flesh bags. All right, you need to be really careful with that around here. This is, uh, if you're trying to get to that planet, I can only assume it's either because you're, you're Empire spies or you're trying to go somewhere that you've been told not to go. And that sort of talk can get you in real trouble around here. Mm. Uh, mm. Speaking of... Trouble. I mean, we were vaguely introduced. You're a captain of the Conflagrant Vagrant, right? That's right. That's my ship, the Conflagrant Vagrant. <laughs> Lorelei <name>. Blazeborn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We heard That's what me. happened to your crew. We're very sorry. Yeah. <laughs> Don't. Why are you apologizing to me? It's... Sorry, what I just forgot that they needed to breathe oxygen. Oh. Uh, right. Okay. You you well, flesh bags have some funny needs. I'll tell you that. I food. I don't need oxygen. I don't need to breathe. Just this uh, one, and question. she points at Sentry. Seem... You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Crazy people needing food. Kind What's of that? Like... What's that about? Well, let's eat more flesh to go in our flesh bits. Weird. <laughs> It's it is weird, but it's I can I can get it. It's a it's a comforting thing, I suppose, to them. Oh, maybe, that way, warm yeah. bits are nice. When you yeah. have like a warm thing, that's nice. Like imagine that warm oh, thing in have... your tum tum. Oh, I don't need that. <laughs> I'm warm all the time. That's very true. Yeah, you do look it. Um, just well, a you quick can one. Feel you like there's heat be... in this helmet. What? You don't seem to I don't be seem very to be... concerned that we were speaking about that particular world. Um... Hell no. I don't... What, you think I care about anything the the Valkyrian wants or, you know, gives a shit about? Eh, it's not his fucking space. I'll do whatever the fuck I want. What's uh, her allegiance to uh, Big Lord Valkyrian? The SB! 
You're asking a lot of questions at once. What are you saying? What are you saying, pretty boy? What's the the snake lady's allegiance towards uh, the Val? Valia, we're, we're fucking allegiance. None of us here have really got an allegiance to the to the Empire. He's well, the one that clamps wrong, down on Nova. space. Well done. Uh, very astute of you, Nova, to notice. Called it. Uh, Listen, this place, sure, you're going to get some captains that work for, for Callus, but they're already employed. Any freelancers like us, nah, we're lucky if we can scrape together a living on Travis. Not that I really need anything. I do it for the thrill of it. But people like Thalia, yeah, she's trying to make a living in a world that doesn't want her to. Wants her to play by rules that she's not willing to. I can at least respect that from her. She's crazy and a drunk and a bit of a bit of a prissy bitch, but I can at least respect the fact that she wants to live her life free. Right. Uh I feel like we're all getting along. Uh <laughs> hmm. I guess. We're learning so much about each other. Um We have the same goal. What did you what did you say? Free. Uh, other elf, you were saying something. Could you get us there? And how much would it cost us? I can get you there. Well, <clears throat> she thinks, like, any captain will tell you it's, it'll be a thousand credits for the fuel and supplies up front. Fuel's the biggest one. So a thousand credits before anything happens. That's a, that's a no deal. That's a no, no bargain kind of affair. After that, I'll oh, just take you there. Sounds like fun. I've never been to that part of uh, astral space before. Ah, I might make you help me out on some things along the way. There's, uh, there's a, a station I want to explore on the way. Ah. You but you're please... under my... If you come with me, I do what I want, when I want. I'll take you there, but if I want to stop off somewhere, tough luck. Wow, you're really building a great picture. Uh, will you be supplying oxygen the whole route? Yeah, I will try and remember that. I mean, to be fair, last time we got hit by a stray, by a stray uh, lance. It damaged the system. I didn't notice. I heard them screaming, but I thought that that was just like, you know, pain. And then they went quiet. Thought they'd finally decided to shut up. <laughs> Do you get hit by a lot of lances? When I steal uh, Imperial supplies, yeah. Right. Okay. Right. Oh, that's the other thing. Yeah, I'm wanted by the Empire, so chances are if you want to fly with me, we'll probably come under attack. He's after me all the time. Mm. Good pitch. Twinsies? Uh, <laughs> eh. Yeah. He, she kind of looks at Lucius and is like, whether you come with me or not, it's no skin off my nose. I'm not exactly charging you for it. I do things because I want to because they're fun or they're crazy or maybe I'll get destroyed or I'll find something of power. What station, by the way? What? There's, I don't know, its name. It's some abandoned station on the route uh, close to another one of the uh, a moon or something. Heard that it was a research facility for chaotic magic. I want to go check it out. Right. Mm. Um, well, uh, well, we'll put a pin in it. <laughs> and uh, we'll Sure. Get... I'm going to be here for the next day. You know where to find me. After that, I'm gone, though. The, the authorities will come and find me. Right. Well, okay. great. Great to meet you. She's already you. walking away. Okay, bye. Oh, bye. No. Bye. So, he's a let's character. Right. Let's go with Nova's friend. <laughs> yeah, that one messenger ring, that one that's we don't want anything on our trail, do we? Really? I mean, we don't need any more on what no. we already have, right? True. Uh, Although also, she'd she fight might... her hardest to, she, to she would be a not, to, not defend us, but like fight if if Starbane was like she'd oh, no, be it's you. Pew, pew, pew. a really really fun ally to have for a future yeah. you know reference. Yeah, at least for the few seconds before we suffocate, she might just fine. forget we exist at some point. Um, yeah, I, I feel like you, Nova built a, a better rapport, and that, I think that's what we were going with, right? A trust between our captain and us which is sure something... but she's also drunk so i mean i got Good drunk night. at my ship and made some mistakes and that <laughs> doesn't make me a bad person does it no no maybe she's gone through a lot recently and we need to give us some time maybe but it also depends on how much she's going to ask for beyond what we only have we only have the thousand 
Um, well, th this one, this one, the Suti armor lady, she she wants, you know, do we do what she says, and like she might forget the oxygen, and you guys need oxygen to breathe, and the, you know, but then, the, but Medusa, the Captain Thalia is pretty and has an open blouse, and she is like, you know, I, it, 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 it could, you know, we could barter items, and like you could help along the way, and she has a navigator called Bim, That's... and they already know where we're going, <laughs> and they use oxygen. They do. Which is wonderful. That's true. I mean, as long as we make sure that the journey is is as expensive as the bounty. We don't want people to just turn on us the moment they find out where we're going, you know? True. I don't think she looks very turny on us, and I'm pointing at what I presume is Captain Thalia just, like, enthusing yeah, in the background. They, they both she, know she's where we're going. She's finishing her call. She finishes her call and is, is now making her way towards you guys. I feel like we're safe in the knowledge that the other uh, fiery person is not going to give us up because she has no interest in giving intel to the, the army because she doesn't like mm. them. So I think it's relatively safe with our thread dying there. And it's safe to go with Captain Thalia. That's my... Uh, as you say yes. that, she uh, <clears throat> moves up, kind of stands just behind the crowd, um, kind of behind where Nova and Quill are. And she kind of, you hear like a, ah -ha! So you must be nervous, friends. And she kind of stands quite tall. You can see she's buttoned up her blouse a little bit, but it's still heavily open sort of at the top. Um, she has this just gun holster harness. You can see, I think you would have seen these before. You can see several colored, um, they almost look like large bullets inscribed with all different runes. You've seen these before, oh, yeah. these are called spell shots. Um, they mm. replicate spells when fired from a from a firearm. She has two firearms hooked into the holsters. She has different spell sh uh, spell shots down the the front of the thing. Tight tight leather trousers, big boots. Um, very Han Solo-y, Star Wars-y kind of scoundrel. But she's a Medusa, right? And you can see her, she has these reptilian eyes, elven features and skin in in other regards, and then the hair. And she's just like, ah, nice to make your acquaintance. Uh, I am. Captain Thalia Whisperwind of the uh, Twin Star Longbow, the Twin Star. Uh, my, your friend tells me you're looking for a ship and a captain. Uh, yes. Uh, if you're able to get us there, you were just seconds ago throwing up. She tosses something into her mouth and eats it. Um, <laughs> Peanuts. <laughs> right. mm -hmm. yeah, she tosses a peanut in her mouth. Well, I've had a, a chat with my navigator. I can get you where you want to go. I'm kind of excited by the prospect, to be honest. I heard a lot of stories about that region of astral space. Okay, okay. She's rubbing uh, her hands together. Like She looks pumped. Okay, Nothing to sober you up, one... like the idea of a, an adventure. Oh, one yeah, thing... you're a big one. Look at you. Wow. Oh, Nerva, I didn't realize you had uh, friends like this. And look at this guy, and she points at Lucius. Ooh, what a pretty one. I'm a, I'm a lucky captain. Sorry, Birdman. Uh, uh, snakes and birds. Nah, it's not a good combo. I know, I was going to say. <laughs> but just so you know, but I'm pretty for a bird. <laughs> sure. Are your crew equally excited about the adventure aspect? As you know, it's a bit of a, you know sensitive uh, place to be traveling she holds her hand up don't worry about that my crew are they're a ragtag they're a, they're an odd bunch i got a lot of outcasts uh, suits me well people that haven't really been given a, the right chances in uh, in the empire uh they've got no love for callus i'll tell you that much and they're loyal to me i've given them a second chance at life so they'll do what i tell them your friend okay. might have mentioned it it's a thousand credits up front for fuel and supplies. It will take me it'll take me a few hours to get everything ready. To get a journey that far, we'll need to make sure we stock up on supplies because we won't really be able to stop anywhere along the way. I also want to make sure that our weapons are primed and ready, just in case. So it'll take me a few hours. When we get there, well, I'd like something of good value from one of you. A magical relic or something of high value. But also, I want to... I want to visit, or perhaps put in an extended stay on your destination. Oh, oh, definitely. We've all like, heard. My mom. We've like, 
yeah. Like, my mum would yeah, totally I'm not welcome too you. In, I'm, I'm not too interested in meeting your mum, Nerva, to be honest. But we've all heard... We've heard stories. And any place that can hold out against Callus. Well, I want to see that. Food. Sure she does. And she kind of slaps you on the back. I'm sure she does. <laughs> She's very sweet. But I'm not a kind of home-cooking person, I'm afraid. Okay, okay. Well, we, we should... We should let you know of a final resistance the moment we arrive. That something that we will need to try to interject before it uh, stops us. Um, oh yeah, I know about the sunship. Yeah, we. Okay. That's, no, are you kidding? No other captain, no other smuggler or pirate or explorer has managed to get close to the place. And the fact that you guys want to go there, that tells me that you've got a way to get past it. So yeah. Well, I, mean, we I know. So. <laughs> Let's hope um, we do. It's fine. We got it covered. It's honest, fine. Hope and a prayer is is better than uh, sitting around in this dump. That's true. I mean, what do you intend to do once you get there, anyway? Like, just I look around. Know. Just yeah, I want to see it. I want to explore it. I want to see what the deal is. I want to see how it survived. How it's kept the way that it is. It's it's something I've never seen before. And there's this genuine moment where that you you immediately know that's why she wants to go. There's a curiosity in this woman that it needs to be satisfied. Now she knows what she's it is. She's a fellow Nova. <laughs> I mean, she's, she's more of wanna... uh, Indiana Jones to uh, yeah, yeah, to but, Nova. But, I mean, she's that more of like, curious. There's that curiosity. Like, yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, don't get us wrong. We love the place, but uh, this place, this is magical in comparison it's it's so much more advanced listen boy when you've seen a million places like this and trust me what you're seeing here this is the fancy paint job on a pretty rotten core apple core sure it's got technology it's got magic it's clean but deep beneath the surface uh, this place is it's got a history of bloodshed and it's this is where all the rich folk from places like gideon prime come to live right oh. but you go to a place like that it's just all... She points to the lantern in the corner. It's like them. It's pretty on the outside, but deep down, it's just all lies. It's just all lies and trampled dreams. That's what it is. Okay. Uh, I mean, if, if, if earnesty and honesty and kindness is, I guess, in some sense, what you're looking for, then that's the place to be. Um... Sounds In like a there's sense. a lot of people to work for. Yeah. yeah. I mean, we could be one of them. Maybe. Potentially. Maybe. I tend to... I don't like, you know, long-term contracts. I like jumping from job to job. But this one... This one sounds right up my street. It's your call. And how... Mm, okay. Yes, go on, pretty boy. Captain Thaler, you talked about... Uh, really rich people and uh, apple cores they love apples and things like that so I was thinking you must do jobs where you get things and sell them to people potentially seedy things and naughty things and uh, profitable things and whatnot we have a few trinkets and goodies do you have a good trader that you know that we could uh, exchange for a few credits uh, and honestly, head down to the head down to the commercial district here on Elysium. Like they'll buy that shit up. Uh, your things like, mm, yeah, trinkets, art, magic items, relics, that sort of thing. They'll buy it up like that here. Uh, I, I don't know what currency you use on your planet, but I'm gonna guess it's not. In, I'm gonna guess it's not Valkyrian credits. You should probably maybe get some of it transferred up though. Raw ma raw materials are worth something. Right. Go on. How about a statue of good old palace? Oh uh, yeah, they'll buy the people here. That they'll, they'll buy that shit up like nobody's business. Might not be worth as much as as the raw materials on your planet, but you'll get credits for it for sure. We can at least do a straight yeah. trade for something that we can't interests really, us. Um, mm -hmm. Can't really sell it on our planet, you see. I'm guessing. I'm guessing that means that you don't have the thousand credits now, but. If you need to go and sell some stuff, head down to the commercial district. That sounds fine. You can come back here, pay me, and then I'll start getting all the, the things ready to go. When would you be able to leave? Once you pay me, 
then I'll be able to start getting things up. It'll take me about eight hours to get everything ready to go. Messenger ring. We, should we just pair now so that we can get the getting out of here on the road? And then we can go and try and make money off of other things. Right, I mean, yes. She seems like research. the one, right? Yeah. She's not the type to just take her money and run, is she? Mm, I don't get that impression. Who knows? Something, there's something more in this job that she's interested in. I think she genuinely wants to take it. How about a down payment, at least? Not the full amount. Hmm. Like a deposit. Yeah. Do you say that sure. to her? Or is that messaging? Pay? How about we secure your, uh, your, your captain nessness with a deposit? No. And I told you, a thousand credits is for the fuel and supplies. I need that now to get the ship ready to make the transit. Then, oh. when we reach your destination, then I'm expecting something else. Magic relic. I don't really want more credits, but she looks around. You've all got plenty of shiny magic things. One of those will do. Right. Mm -hmm. Or... Or you can help me with something along the way. Okay. There's always sure we can figure there's always out. places to plunder and things that can be sold on other worlds. Either of those. In which case. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. Well. No good. <laughs> uh. Okay. Uh. I'll start counting out the thousand. Uh, it's just a, it's it, one it thing. Yeah, it's it's like one a thing? one okay, ceramic yeah. thing. Uh, yeah. It's she's just like, yeah. Got this here on Ishtar. How did you get this? Can we tell you along the way? Sure. Just... I don't really care. She looks in. Yeah. She's like, yeah, that's a thousand credits. She kind of like shrugs, puts it in like a little pouch on her belt and snaps it shut. Okay, great. I'll be, I'll go get the twin star fueled up and get it ready. I'll get the crew prepped. Be back here in, yeah, eight to nine hours. Uh, I'll meet you here, outside the bar. Quick quick question before we head off and, and you head off and, and we all head off and you're pretty. Um, how, if one was to do some sort of research into planets like Ganas and, and you know, other planets, like, you know, where would one, is there like a library here or? Sweetie, sweetie. I can tell that you're not from around these parts. You're not too familiar with the Empire, are you? She kind of leans in a bit more conspiratorially this time, like, you gotta remember, Callus controls everything. You think he's gonna let people just have a library where they can learn about whatever they want, whenever they want? You could check out the Valkyrian Empire Museum. It gives you some information on some stuff, and if you want to find out about the other planets, you can always ask the residents, or you can go down and ask people like myself. I know a little bit about Ganas, but uh, getting any kind of information that's true well, that's the hard part. Most of it's propaganda. Most of it's all cultivated by his church and his his officials. They tell the parts that they want to tell that help sell the Valkyrian story. Everybody does their part against Hadar. That sort of that sort of crap. So sure, head down. There's a Valkyrian museum here on Ishtar. It talks about the history of the Empire and everything that Kallus has done and. Maybe there's some information. There's there's a hall of planets there that talks about all the various planets that have been or were part of the Empire, the tragic losses that have been destroyed in battles. You can go and find out about that stuff, but just take it with a pinch of salt. A lot of it's just not going to be exactly true. Okay. Thanks. Sorry, kid. Welcome to the Empire. Mm. Alright, I'm going to go get set. I expect you all to be back here on time. I'm going to I'm gonna go take some uh, take some potions that are gonna help me sober up even more too. She kind of gives you a smile, gives uh, Nova, Lucius, and Ayla a wink, uh, and then turns and begins making her way out of the bar. Okay, okay. I mean, sure. I mean, if we need information, she and the navigator will probably give us the best, right? Rather than I, um... whatever lies yeah, there are. I... I kind of want to go to this museum anyway, just to see, see how Callus views this. And I, even yeah. if it is propaganda, it's still useful information. And who I knows, we so might too, find Nova. something about Ayla. And I mean, anything is better than nothing. And honestly, I think that, like Nova says, learn more about your enemy. I think it's beneficial for us to, to see what kind of stuff that he's covered up. 
and see the world through his world. eyes. I think it could yeah, be lies, well, so. amusing too. We'll see the world through his followers' eyes. Yeah, so, well, what's the plan? What do you guys want to do? Do you want to go check out this museum first and then go sell stuff? Do you want to sell stuff then check out the museum? Like, what's the plan? What's the plan? I think I'd be too terrified to split up uh, and just stay yeah, together. It's so. kind of like being in a big city for the first yeah. time. Yeah. Yep. So okay. I'd probably follow Don't Nova split. to the right. library. And then mm. we can sell right. stuff. Nova, you want to do, you want to do the museum yeah. first? Museum, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah why not? Be old propaganda tour. Yeah. Sure. Thing. The group of you make your way down into Ishtar uh, Central City, which is the name of like the main component of the, the city itself. This is where most of the businesses are, where many of the churches are, where you know the, the infrastructure is, as well as commercial zones and things like that. Um, Central City doesn't take you long to ar arrive there, and it does not take you very long to find uh, the, the Ishtar Museum of the Valkyrian Empire. A very quite not gaudy it's it's very plain in a way plain black crystal draped with banners of the valkyrian empire but quite simple uh a large stone a large kind of like squarish shaped building um there are no there's nobody out front it seems completely open to the public there is no charge uh there is a set of stone steps that lead up um you do not see any staff uh it just seems to be almost like a monument that you can just go and visit um you may make your way up the stairs, and when you enter the main doorway, you see that looking down on you, the, the kind of main uh, feature arch that before it splits off into corridors is a large statue of a man you have seen in person, but now he, here he is, depicted very much how you've seen him before, but Callus is given a, a kind of much larger stature. He kind of like rises up, um, his hair billows kind of backwards, um, and he reaches down with both hands, um, and he holds uh, a spinning kind of model of dozens of planets and galaxies um, in his hands, um, but is protectively kind of cradling it, uh, like, you know, with his arms surrounding it in a protective manner. Um, and behind it in kind of gold stenciled font along the base of the statue is uh, Praxis Val, uh, the Valkyrian Empire's legacy. Uh, and it kind of then extends into two different corridors. Um, one is the, uh, the, 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 I guess it would be called something on like the planar archives, um, is on one side. And then on the other side is the history of the Valkyrian empire, an interactive tour. <laughs> Are there buttons to press? <laughs> you don't know. It's, it's like a corridor you have to move down into. I would uh, like but to you go don't in. imagine that there's like a lot of it they're, they're, from the yeah. outside of the building there these are really just two individual rooms you think yeah i'd like to go to the uh, the planar of course i want to go to the planar room it says planar i want to go the planar there. archives yeah sure yeah um so the group of you make your way in because <laughs> she's like yeah. nova smart she knows what she's looking at she will the find group the of information you absolutely you all as a group make your way the doors here open on their own um they kind of open uh, automatically as you enter you don't see any other people around um when you step inside you enter the kind of inside of a planetarium a large dome-like room um at the center of which is just a single crystal crystal disc um and as you step inside uh there is a flickering of an illusion that comes to life um and you see a very well-dressed woman uh, with long, dark hair with gray and red streaks through it, wearing elaborate, almost bladed jewelry and dressed in black and red. Um, and she has a very bored looking expression on her face. <laughs> um, and she is just like, welcome to the Planar Archives. You are free to use this facility as is necessary for the Valkyrian Empire. Praxis Val to all of our loyal and most glorious subjects. I am Zakira, and I welcome you to make use of this facility. And then the illusion fades. Um, and you see that the crystal in the middle kind of spreads out and creates a full illusionary ma map of the known planes and systems of this galaxy or universe or planar oh, wow. sphere, whatever you want to call it. 
Um, and it seems that, yeah, there's a number of locations and planets and things like that, but yeah, what do you guys want to do? Um, so can we see the planet that Ishtar, like, uh, sorry, um, Elysium? Right now, it's just like, like a spinning, a... like, galactic system. Um, and there are points that you can tap, but a lot of it you're like, I don't know what planet this is. You can't yeah. seem to see Ishtar immediately because it's almost at a larger scale. Um, you don't know what system Ishtar would be in. Mm. Uh, it just looks like a confusing mess of, of information you don't quite know yet. Mm. Um. Okay. Um. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, when you s go on. Just sorry. Uh, when you say you. when you say hello, there is a you there is a pause, but then a modulated kind of magical voice um, seems to emanate from the crystal, like a pulse of light in the crystal. And this one doesn't have the same voice as Zarkira. This one has a more neutral, uh, flat tone. Welcome to the Planar Archives. Can I assist you? Hi, um, could you show me, um, I, I guess I'm a bit, where are we in this? What is your inquiry? Where is Elysium? Elysium is located in the celestial sector of the, of the outer, of the outer system. Uh, and it is, the map begins zooming in and you see a, a section of the planar sphere highlighted and then it expands and now it reveals a number of other planets and one of them is Elysium. Mm -hmm. Um, wh where, in relation to Elysium, where is G Ganas? Uh, hang on. <laughs> hang on. It's just because, like, Answer, yeah, you're there. asking in relation to and stuff Buffering. like that. It's kind of annoying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, kind of. Uh, I need this book and I need this chapter. Oh, hello. So. I think it's Google Mapsing us across the world. Yeah. Across the universe. How long does it take if you're walking? How long does it take if you take, if you take public transport? Yeah. Ganas is located. Years. Ganas is located in the inner system, um, and then it kind of goes back out to the wider version, and it shows that the outer and the inner system are, are connected, um, but are quite far apart. However, Ganas is located on the opposite end of the system to uh, Elysium, and it, then it displays, and it's basically, you'd have to travel across the outer system, and then the Ganas is on the other mm -hmm. side of the inner system, so it's kind of like segmented like that. Um, mm -hmm. Ganas is the um, homeworld of the Ganassi race, those born with elemental influences and powers. It is closely tied you. to the elemental planes. That's me. That's They're me. talking about you, Nova. That's me. That's me. It's your um, home planet. Would you like to know more? Uh, yes. Yes, please. Ganas joined the Valkyrian Empire approximately 350 years ago after the planet was nearly destroyed by a Hadar swarm that intended to consume the planet. However, the Valkyrian Empire and army managed to defeat the forces and save Ganas. It was at this time that a number of uh, insurgents and prisoners from a rebellion was discovered upon the planet. These were incarcerated by the Valkyrian Empire and taken off world. Uh, oh. Taken off world where? I'm afraid that no more information remains about this subject. Um, uh, is is there any is there any other planet that has a Ganassi city on it? The Ganass are prime are only located. The Ganassi are only located on Ganass. Many have since removed to Gideon Prime. Much like the rest, much like mu the. Along with much of the Valkyrian Empire, but no other Ganassi cities exist on any other planes. Oh, really? Um, Ayla, you. Um, where is Alfheim? Alfheim was located in the inner, uh, in the outer system. However, sadly, Alfheim was a tragic loss to the forces of Hadar. The Valkyrian Empire managed to save much of the residents who formed a large part of the Valkyrian Empire 
and their technology was adapted to allow us to fight in endless numbers against this hostile force. It is a sad and tragic loss to the Empire that these noble elves of ancient magic no longer have their home, but their sacrifice will never be forgotten. Hmm. Where is Alfheim in the? Where was Alfheim in the mm -hmm. system in relation to here? It brings up the system. Alfheim is located very close to what appears to be a white spot uh, on in very close to the center of the outer planes. Um, and you see a planet there called Celestia um, as well, which was nearby. Um, and as well as a planet called Yuzgard, or Asgard, it would be pronounced. Um, Alfheim is located close to the planet known as Celestia and Asgard. Both of these regal realms have since joined the Valkyrian Empire. Hmm. Interesting. Oh. Anyone else? Are, are wild elves on any other planet? There is no known species as wild elf. I elves come in many forms, such as the high elves, uh, Eladrin, as well as... Uh, God, I'm trying to get my own lore stuck in my head and trying to remember certain stuff. Uh, I guess they would have been called, yeah. Uh, there are there are the several there are several known subspecies of elves, such as high elves, Eladrin, wood elves, dark elves, and the first elves. What elves resided on? Uh, oh my god, it was there. For, what's your planet? <laughs> Alfheim. Alfheim, <laughs> Alfheim yeah, was the home elves to the first. Them? Alfheim was, was the home to the first elves. It is believed that many first... of the subspecies of elves descended from the high, from these firstborn. First elves. So, what so about Ayla, you're storm a... elf? There are no known there are no known species of elves referred to as storm elves. That's what that's what, what? the frame said. I don't know. Yeah. When did Alfheim fall to Hadar? Out the destruction of Alfheim was several thousand was several thousand years ago. In the early records of the Valkyrian Empire. Maybe Maybe you're a first elf, Ayla. Maybe, or... but it seems like that was a really long time ago. I don't think I would have been around. Maybe there's some kind of the Prime said Storm Elf, me. Maybe we have evolved. I don't know. Hmm. I have an idea, but I probably shouldn't say it here. <laughs> Would you like to know of anything else? Where is Hadar? Oh. The location. The, Hadar is an external. Is it? Is, Hadar is an endless threat that exists throughout all of the known universe and across many different planes. For military purposes, the location of any uh, emergent point is kept secret from the public. However, rest assured that the Valkyrian Empire fights against it daily for your safety and protection. Yeah. Th thanks. Um, the, the first elves, what powers did they possess? The first elves were the first elves were known to create to carry many unknown phenomena, especially related to the natural order of magic and life itself. However, more information on these has sadly been lost following the destruction of their planet. Hmm. Huh. Um, what did we start with? Did we start with a galaxy view? Yeah, you started, well, it, galaxy. It's like, uh, it's known as the planar sphere, which is all the different sectors of planes and planets um, in one sort of like sphere-like, ring-like map. So it's very wide. What's uh, outside of the planar sphere? Outside of the planar sphere is the area known as dark space. This dark, uh, shadowed version of the astral sea is not to be explored. It is full of the dangers of Hadar and cannot be, uh, and 
there are no licensed or uh, chartered sector uh, chartered paths through it what's outside the dark space it repeats it doesn't it just repeats the the same as what it just said what planets or sectors are under valkyrian control almost all planets and sectors are under the control of the valkyrian empire a few primitive planets that do not have access to magical technology are not considered part of the Empire, but are under our protection. Can we see some of them? These planets hold, yield no resources or value of materials of any value. However, they are closely watched by Valkyrian, Valkyrian Empire scientists and cultural experts, awaiting the day that they can join our glorious Empire and the fight against Hadar. Prime Directive. <laughs> the propaganda machine is strong. Hail our benevolent leader. Praxis Val. Hail Callus Valkyrian. Just in case they're recording everything. Which they probably are. Messengering. Mm. Yeah. Okay, I mean, you can try asking Do not forget. Uh, his... Do not forget to explore the history of the Valkyrian Empire. And enjoy Ooh, many of the luxuries available in our gift shop. Oh, oh there's a <laughs> gift shop! I oh, hope there's gift new shop. things, because I've already got all the other things. Uh, a door does open on either <laughs> side. The door you came in from, and another door on the other side of the room. Uh, messenger ring. Do, do we want to try and ask about the Prime? Do we want to no. feed information no, to that's, this? That's a sentry question. Yeah, that's, that's a hard no. 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 <laughs> that's a hard okay. no from Sentry. Okay. That's, that's <laughs> a hard no <laughs> from me. <laughs> there might be some record of Guardians, or at least where they started. I'm just saying. They're, Poor guy, why like, does Starbane want the world engine? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I mean, why on. don't we? We might find out more if we go into the Master Ring. We might find out more if we go into the next exhibit of the history. There Ooh. might be mention of. True. You know, you know what, and that's you know true. Where. And, and if we go to the gift the shop, things. we might, we might be able to buy an obsidian statue of Starbane in the gift shop. Oh my gosh! <laughs> That'd be amazing. <laughs> you imagine? <laughs> Wait, look at the bottom of your Starbane statue. Does it say "Property oh, of the Museum"? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> maybe. It does. does it say "Made in Elysium"? <laughs> Yeah, you we could get much our Kira one. Like, let's get a whole set. Yeah. Can, okay. Before uh, we go, Quill. Before, can... uh, before, whilst this is going on, Quill, you hear a message in your head. Here we go. Oh, cool. We have received your circle code. The wings of Ishtar wish to meet you. City outskirts, north side, closed down opera house. Messenger ring, the splinter group just got back to us and we need to meet them. What? Should we continue with the museum or Did they give a the time? resistance? Did they give a time or <laughs> You have twenty five oh, words to respond, don't forget. It was uh yeah, it's a sending spell. Oh, you yeah. have twenty five words to respond. Sending. It was sending, yeah. Okay. Uh continue walking through the museum while I write down my reply. Um quickly like while we're while all this is going on, can I be sketching like some of the maps that we've seen? Like just I guess like of yeah. um the Ganassi system yeah. and all that, like just yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Easy. Easily done. Um can yeah, do you guys can, want to go can through you also the museum? Draw Alfheim for Ayla, can yeah, yeah, yeah. The ones that are around there. Thank you. I'm I'm assuming that Kim, that Nova is making a planar map. She's sketching out like, right, this is vaguely what it looks like, these are the key locations, etc. Um I'm not going to go through the whole thing. When you enter the next room, it is similar to this one, and it is a large kind of uh, empty space, and an illusion uh, is conjured, changing the surroundings around you. Um, and it creates the, the the location of a beautiful pastoral planet um, where you can see beautiful cities of a kind of medieval style, but made from crystal and with magic and, and very similar kind of veins, but in you know, a very traditionally kind of like castles and, and inns and things like that, but it has a, a high magic element. Um, and the, the museum tour uh, introduces you to this. Uh, this is the world of Gideon. 
an ancient land many millennia ago. Here, a warrior was born, a man who would rise up through the service of his army to defend his king and country across many planes and planets. It shows a younger looking Kalistabe. Um, however, disaster would strike Gideon as a corrupt and cruel council of governors and politicians would come to control the king and indoctrinate him to the cult of the Crimson Star. And you see the whole world becomes enshrouded in a crimson glow. Whilst Callus, whilst the warrior Callus was away fighting wars to defend his planet's home and safety, these corrupt politicians influenced and gave power to the Dark Star, Hadar. It spawned fleets determined to destroy Gideon as well as all the other planets in the system in order to grow in its own power. But one warrior would not let this stand. The whole room shifts and cuts to a fleet of starships as you find yourselves just hovering in space and a slightly older, much more powerful looking Callus in the power armor that you've you've seen him in before carrying um not tiangong but a, a long black sword quill has seen this version of callus before in a vision where he saw him arguing with siaska mm. at callus's side is siaska as well as several oh. other warriors including a serpentine uh zarkira like a woman who looks like zarkira but with these serpentine elements callus was joined not only by his companions but by a divine being a goddess named Siaska. These group of warriors and rebels return to Gideon to stop their mad king and to save the planet. But after many bloody battles, not all could be saved. Hadar had arrived, and Callus lacked the powers to send to, to fight this planet back, to fight the force back. A mass evacuation was ordered as the king was slain and Callus was crowned the new Lord of Gideon. A mass evacuation, sending citizens aboard great ships that could outrun the Hadar spawn, was ordered, and Gideon was left. The room seems to accelerate. For a thousand years, Callus, Emperor Callus Valkyrian built his forces, forged alliances, and created armies, pushing back against the spawn of Hadar as they could sought to consume planet after planet. And as each victory came, more systems were saved and swelled our empire's numbers. Sadly, it not all was uh, not all was well for our beloved emperor. The goddess known as Siaska was killed whilst fighting aboard on whilst fighting for the safety of the planet Alfheim. It, she was destroyed along with the planet itself as Callus evacuated the, el the the first elves into new worlds. The loss of a, a loss of such a powerful and beloved being sent splinters across the universe. For many years, Sorry, can you the armies the of Kalis. Start of that bit about no. Alpha. <laughs> uh, it basically, it's, it's just uh, Siaska. So this thing says that Siaska was killed but, along with the destruction of Alpha. Right. Um, That's what I wanted to. Yes. Uh, for many thousands of years, Callus, empowered by magic and sorcery and given long life as a blessing from the first gods of the universe, has continued to wage war against our ancient enemy, Hadar, the Endless Hunger. Thousands of troops across many, different, across many hundreds of planes and planets have joined this battle. Callus has united the forces of demons and angels, devils and fae, all in this one purpose, to hold back the endless spawn of Hadar itself. Now, you, you, the descendants of these great sacrifices, fulfill the Empire and serve its great needs, funneling this war to victory. And then the whole illusion ends and you are left with an exit. Um, Uh, that isn't um, as detailed as I was like. I did just have to do that out of the top of my head. So there's... <laughs> very yeah. good. Oh, man. Jimmy's good. Uh, there's not enough detail. There might also be some contradictions to stuff I've said in the past. Eh, 
don't worry about it. It's all propaganda, uh, isn't it? It's propaganda. It's propaganda. It's propaganda. It, 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 that's yeah. exactly it. I'm doing my part. Yeah, exactly. Are you Would you doing like to yours? know more? Yeah. It's very Starship Troopers. It's very, very Starship Excellent. Troopers in that regard. Very good. I like Quill. My sci fi tendrils are tingling. Do you have a response? Received. We have little time. Seven hours before we fly. I assume it was like an hour to get here. Um, sure. Is it safe to travel? Do not make a move without us. Regards, Storm Chasers. Storm Chasers, one word. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. Um, you get you get a response. Uh, <clears throat> come immediately. Safety assured. Coordination necessary. Did you just and then it gives you more. Oh. <laughs> it gives you more detailed. Yeah, basically, it gives you more detailed um, directions to find this uh, opera house that it was trying to. Uh, it gave you before. Okay, 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 okay. I used twenty-five words to say okay on repeat. Um, <laughs> sure. Uh, and then I'll yeah I'll communicate it to uh, to everyone. I mean yeah, storm chasers. It makes sense. Like the ship is called the storm chaser, right? Like. I know. It also fits actually. into one word in a long way, <laughs> which is perfect. <laughs> um, okay. Yeah, uh, I, I, I'll, I'll cast sending again to then use another twenty-five words to say okay. Well, you can't. You don't know the target. They, they have not given you a name. You don't know them. You can't send sending back. So instead of the okay, 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 okay twenty-five times, is there something you would like to put into that message? Uh no, I think I like I know what to do, right? I I okay. just communicate the me well the idea to everyone. Um, yep. Yeah, the wings of Ish. Well, messenger ring. The wings of Ishtar uh, have communicated that we need to visit them now. Uh, they've given me a location. Hey, we do have eight hours, ish seven hours ish, uh, and I've told them not to make a move without us we just need to we just need to coordinate with them all right that makes sense it's also good to meet them if they're working on our side just across the astral sea then they're still useful yeah it's just to meet them. They, they want us there now yeah because then we can make contact and you can see them and we can send them sending spells in the future Hooray! Can we go through the gift shop? Yeah. Sure. Sure, you I think we have to. It's kind of pointing us shop. out that you way. Do. Mm -hmm. You do. <laughs> uh, the gift, gift shop gift is... Shop. There is nothing tacky. It is all very sort of like, oh, isn't this very nice? It's a little diorama of, of uh, you know, uh, Gideon, and, and there's like a very lovely sort of like art print of Callus uh, in front of a, you know, a world and things like that. It's all very classy. There's nothing tacky here. Mm. Um... I asked it's about like the destruction of my home planet, and all I got was this stupid T-shirt. <laughs> there is none of that. Ah, uh, there are no T-shirts. I want to know where Aroes is. <laughs> there is no T-shirt. Are, there are like little pennants of the like Valkyrian memorial, Empire. Like a, a memorial, like plaque for for Alfheim. No, magic. there are no like. There's the not a globe. spinny thing of different planets and things like that. No. No key uh, There are like banners. There are things like prints and books. Um, it's like a boring gift shop. Wind up, Callus. Like those, name... nope. <laughs> those name key <laughs> rings. I'm looking at them like, Quell, Quell. No one's called Quell. <laughs> name's the... Hey, Quell. Are you talking to my son, Quell? No, I, my name is also Quell. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Any Amazing. excuse to get a Simpsons reference in, for sure. Um... <laughs> no, my son is also <laughs> called Quell. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Thank. Fort. What do you guys want to do? Buy a book. No, it's fine. You can buy a it's... book of the. You can buy a uh, a written copy of the Valkyrian, the history of the Valkyrian a Empire. Book of lies. How you much can much buy a book of lies. Of still fair, yeah, like a lies, credit, but... one credit. Yeah, we don't have anything though. So, could yeah, I trade a Starbane statue for it? <laughs> nice. Fine. No. Carry on. Get on with it. Get on with it. Forget me. Leave me. All right. Go. So, do you guys want to go and and to this meeting then? Do you just want to go straight there? Sounds urgent. I guess so. Yeah. Okay. Could we sell the statue? Do you want to do that first? I don't know. 
Might as well see yeah. what we can let get, me, right? Like, I... Let me help you out, because I ain't doing a shopping episode today. So if you no, want to sell the statue, sell they will give you 500 credits. Just want to do what that. could 500 credits buy us? 500 credits. Drink so that bar. <laughs> the, commercial, the commercial district here... Um, you can pretty much buy lots of common and uncommon magic items. Um, so they have things like things that are conveniences. They have stones that, when you touch them, clean dirt and grime from you. They're just like suck it away. Oh. Um, you can buy chests that, when you put food and things like and uh, organic materials in it, it doesn't decay. It's, it prevents it decaying for like twelve days. Like it's like a fr refrigerator, basically, but a magic. Not like one. a small chest. Um, or... You holding. can buy things like, um, you could buy something like a bag of holding. Yes, you could buy that. Um, that would be 500 credits. Like, you can buy, like, uncommon mm -hmm. magic items as well. So, any kind of, like, what, if you might, can think uh, of something you want. Power up a hammer. Maybe. Uh, let me have a look. Nope. <laughs> that definitely they won't. No, oh, we were so close to him, we flew over it. <laughs> I think if we've got we've got five hundred, right? Should we just um, figure out what we're going to have between now and Off next camera. episode? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We can Off just camera. get like one thing with five hundred credits. We'll just hard trade yep. Starbane statue sure. for stone that cleans us. Sure, because that's I've awesome. It we can do that. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Statue there are, gone. Yeah. <sighs> Go to the meeting. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you have five hundred yeah, we'll credits. Yeah, we'll talk about it next time because. Um, We've got yeah. someone on They'll after also, us, so we need to wrap up. Yeah, if you, if you did want to, like, exchange gold, um, 100 gold coins, it will translate into 100 Valkyrian credits. They'll take raw gold, like, they'll exchange gold for credits, because gold is a, a resource Ooh. that they can then use in other things. Um, oh, shit. But we'll do that so off screen. Credit. Um, That's actually quite a lot. Yeah, yeah. it's about 500 gold. Um, yeah. Nice. 200 more than the statue is valued for. Yeah. So... You Sweet. make your way, following the instructions given to Quill, you make your way to the outskirts of the city. It takes you nearly two hours to reach it. Um, it takes you a good long while on the various sort of like crystalline platforms and things like that to reach the outskirts. And the in instructions lead you to a district which, whilst not abandoned, is very clearly quieter. It looks to be mainly sort of rundown businesses or homes. Um, and it's kind of a contrast. It's still clean and pretty, but it's devoid of any life, and many of the places here are shut, showing that perhaps the central part of Ishtar gives an impression of this very affluent, busy city. But when you get to these outskirts, it's actually like, oh, there's nobody here. Hmm, that's weird. Right. Okay. Um, and you make your way to a... One of the buildings stands out. It's an abandoned theater of a sort with an open amphitheater at the back. Uh, there are signs indicating that the building is has been sold, and you can see that there are various construction tools and supplies out in front of it. Um, but there are no signs of any workers or any any construction being done. There's just the sort of like smattering of things that like, yeah, maybe we'll build something here eventually. Um, when you guys arrive, you hear a very delicate, angelic voice in your minds. Enter the building stand on the stage you will not be home uh, okay okay I mean this is definitely the place yep it's definitely the place uh, if you follow the instructions you make your way down to the amphitheater and you stand on a section of the, the kind of like stone stage and when you're all stood together after a few moments you feel that section of the, the floor begin to drop slowly. Not like a, a pit floor, oh. <laughs> but a platform. <laughs> but a platform that begins lowering down. And as you get to okay. a certain as you get to a certain height down, you see a kind of flickering illusion come into place above you, which recreates the stone floor. The crystalline platform oh. lowers you down and down and down and leads you into a very basic cellar of a sort but you can see that there are several guards here they appear to be angelic in nature or SMR in some nature they wear armor they have feathered wings you can see halos of light around them and they gesture you into a hastily made command center where there are all sorts of weapons maps um, spell scrolls potions all stored 
and stood amongst a group of Arsimar warriors is a being that you can feel the power and the radiance coming off of. He stands about seven feet tall. Two sets of angelic wings protrude from his back. Um, chestnut hair is shaved on one side, but grows kind of semi-long on the other. And he's covered in these celestial spiraling tattoos that go down all the way from his neck, down his arms. There's weapons, there's geometric patterns and sh- sigils all over this uh, these quite burly muscular arms. And he has bright blue orbs of light instead of eyes. Not like Lucius's, but glowing spheres of power in place of eyes. Uh, and he turns to you and in telepathically in your minds, you hear this just chorus angelic voice. So, you are the ones that have given us a chance to strike back at Kalos. You have my utmost gratitude and my welcome. I am Zellion, Solar of Elysium. Wow. And that is where we'll end today's episode. Solar of Elysium. Solar. So cool. Oh, yeah. oh man, I want to. Tom, we have so got to, to fix your camera. Off. Drives me nuts. Uh, yeah, we should. Yeah. I know, I know. I, I, I don't know how to right. fix it. Um, wait, what was his name again? Solar of Elysium. Uh, uh Zellion. 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 Oh. Oh. Zellion. Zellion. Very cool. Holy moly. Ooh. And I will tell, I will say now, any any kind of spellcaster and quill, especially being a cleric, like you know, even and and sentry being a paladin, in fact, this being just radiates not just goodness but like richness and power. This is a very powerful planar being. Um, I Ooh, don't I know the 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 closest power you felt to this was when Caridus, the the demon lord thing, spoke to you through the gate. Oh. Um, it's that level of power. Um, really? Oh. Yeah. This thing feels strong nice. as hell. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. yeah we'll yeah. just drop him onto the, wind. onto the ship. That's yeah. easy. We've won, right? Sure, Thomas. <laughs> uh, right. Um, shall we? While well, you guys get ready to read out some more stuff. Uh, just want to big say another big thank you to both of our sponsors, D&D Beyond, but especially to our good friend Brian McClellan. If you haven't checked out his books, especially uh, the Valkyrie uh, collections stuff, check it out. Uh, links all in chat and things like that, that he is a sponsor of today's episode. He's a great friend, really fun author. Yes. Read his Powder Mage stuff as well. Really fucking good. Sins of the Empire, fantastic start point. Yeah, that is really um, good. Yeah, it's great. Just read it. It's good shit. Good shit. Yeah. Um... And reading, it's not for nerds. <laughs> <laughs> like Thomas said. Uh, available yeah. everywhere. Get it, get it everywhere. <laughs> um, hey, wow. Boy, howdy. Do I love it when Delinadan uh, donates because they say, Yer, it's Tom Sugar Puffer, here to wish you all well. Can't watch today painting some Warhammer over FaceTime. Have an awesome episode and lots of love. Thank you very much, Delinadan. Shy Laren, uh, with a quarter hundo. Good lord, I am loving this new setting. And the name and in the name of the Star Wars references are superb. <laughs> Love you guys. But even during quarantine, you make me smile and laugh. Thank you very much. Aww. Kenku My noises with a quarter like hundo. <laughs> I don't like you either. That was amazing. Um, I don't like you either. <laughs> Kenku noises with a quarter hundo. No, you. Um, <laughs> then, <laughs> no, then you. bluff with 3.33333. 3, 3, 3, 3. Damn, woke up late. I'll just join the VOD squad later. Everyone stay safe. Yes, indeedy. We'll see you on the YouTube or podcast then, Bluster. Varys, with no message. Thank you very much. Guy Fieri. Oh, shit. I've been listening <gasps> to you. <Damn. laughs> wow, now. Luckily, I've finally been able to catch a couple live streams. You guys helped me laugh through some hard times, and I wanted to pay that forward. Mark, you tell such a phenomenal and captivate. Uh, wait, you are such a phenomenal and captivating DM. Thanks very much, Mayor uh, of Flav- thank you for- I was going to say thank you for taking us to Flavortown, Guy Fieri. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you know, what could we do without privilege. you? So thank you. Pri- what privilege? Drive into uh, dragons and dives. <laughs> you love that shirt, don't you? 
I love it. It's the best show um, ever. <laughs> Bay Feather. Uh, I haven't watched live in a while because I wanted a podcast to listen to during work, but I had to tune in after last week. Well, thank you very much. And yes, podcast is the same. It's 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 this, but audio. Ah, <laughs> Ghost of Sprinkles. <laughs> I'm in love with this bar. Uh, and everyone in it, all the references. Fucking pro gamer move from Ayla with a coat hanger. Much love. <laughs> Stay safe. Damn hands, you nasties. Uh, Ren Harrell, one day I will not choke on my lunch during the sponsor messages. Trot's trying to kill me, guys. <laughs> Another day, more proof that Ayla is the most badass elf in the universe. Roll high, kick ass, and if Quill dies, I riot. Thank you very much. Yeah. We all do. Dark Fam yeah. uh, right. Hi, guys. Thank you for being awesome. Been watching the streams uh, to help me after going through my divorce a few weeks ago. Well, Dark Fam. Uh -huh. Very sorry to hear that, but thank you for joining yeah. the streams and thank you for your donation. Being um, an ongoing thing Rav for Cramp as well. Yeah. yeah. Ravager 4. Um, oh boy, I haven't laughed this much in ages. Thanks, High Rollers. I so need this. 10 out of 10. Would watch five straight episodes uh, <laughs> of random hijinks sorry, in this bizarre Elysium fantasy space bar. Uh, especially if it means Nova awkwardly flirting with drunken snake ladies. <laughs> um, frankly, NPC, we have a ship name for Nova and the captain, Novalia. Oh, no. Ah, Novalia. Oh, come on, as if you didn't I know mean, that was going to we happen. You were asking for you that. Knew. Yeah. yeah. I wasn't yeah. the <laughs> ship names. I wasn't thinking they would be fast. <laughs> they would be fast. Oh, it's that dwarf back again. Uh, <laughs> Natalie, the truth keeper. In before Talia goes from a mercenary to being a loyal starship captain fighting for the Erosian Rebellion and also mm. Nova's girlfriend. We can but um, dream. Dean <laughs> Miller <laughs> with I know. Yes. A, a Dean Miller with a half hundo. This wow. was an interesting wow. episode. I wonder if they would have flown by Aegis 5 again since it was a research facility that was connected to a ro Arois via portal. I suspect that the next session will be just as good. Sending good vibes for our band of heroes. Thank you Wasn't very much. Wasn't there a much. moon, though? Uh, okay. That's no moon. Um, Jez Jez 627 with a quarter hundo. You guys are great. Mark, uh, you are great. And Callie is one of my favorite guest players. And because of that, I had to come check you all out. I have managed to watch all of uh, all of the series in less than a week. Wow. Yeah. That's, that's a lot. Well done. Oh, love from Mississippi. I just woke up to leave this message. Well, thank you very much. Um, Mississippi. And finally, Mudkip. Tom, 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 <laughs> why did you do this to me? I am now dead. My family will starve because of you, Tom, Tom, Tom. Rhiannon, <laughs> did we hurt a Mudkip somewhere along the when? I think did did, did was possibly. it like two episodes ago that we that, that I killed a mudkip? <laughs> it sounds bad, okay. but I don't remember. <laughs> I think I think I killed right a mudkip two episodes ago. Just rub it in there, Tom. Just rub it in. Make it worse. Yeah. I think it was right. two because right. we let the second one die. Is there Thank any you more? Very much. Oh. Right. Have you got yeah. any? Yes, I've got four. I'll read them out as fast as I can so we can go on to the next. Please do. Uh, new Alex, today, great stuff. I do love seeing a hive of scum and villain in any campaign. Glad to see the party chose a bare-chested elf Medusa over oxygen not included, the Hell Knight. Although Cobalt Space Program looked fun too. <laughs> Cobalt Space Program was 100% <laughs> what it was. It was a mess. It's amazing. Um, <laughs> one thing I just before, like, I know you want to read these out, but the, 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 armored, lead, the armored creature that you guys didn't go with... Um, it's not because you guys aren't going to go with them now. <laughs> it's a flame skull attached to a suit of uh, oh animated armor. Uh, and oh, it was yeah. insane. And, it's in and she's insane. She's yeah. like an insane flame yeah. skull. <sighs> and she wears the helmet to hide the fact that it's just like a That's floating amazing. ghost rider skull. When you, um, when you started cackling, I was like, hmm. Fuck it. That's his flame skull <laughs> laugh. That's his fucking flame skull <laughs> laugh. That is. Yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah. Lorelei might best. turn up, but. She was, yeah, it's, uh, she might turn up again in the future, but yeah, Flame Skull with a kind of helmed, uh, helmed horror body, basically. Um, nice. She's yeah. very cool. Yeah. But she might have let you all suff suffocate to death, so. Yeah. <laughs> right. Nice. Dogs. 
donated. Shout out to my friend Louisa, who watches all of these live. She loves you all, as do I. Very best wishes from us both. That's nice. Uh, Ace of Hello, Thorns Louisa. donated. So, how do you like your scum and villainy? Straight up ice and a slice? Will the session end without a <gasps> initiative roll? Social hugs. <laughs> oh my god. First time ever. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not the first Durang. time ever. Lightning Ring Dragon donated. Achievement get map updated. And then they donated again, yeah. saying, wait, so is Aroas Alfheim? No. Question mark? No. No, it's not. No, Aroas has just <laughs> been established that. erased from history. It has. At least for Starbane. Yeah. yeah. There That's is no awesome. such thing. There, are, there is no war in Varsing Say. There is no Aroas in the Valkyrian Empire. Um, just erase that shit. Uh, okay, cool. Well, thank you, everybody, for tuning in to watch. Thank you, players, for joining me. Um, we hope to see you uh, for we got Chaos Twins on Tuesday 8 till late we have uh, Curse of Strahd on Thursday at 8 and we'll be back next Sunday yep. for more Erois. Uh we love you take care stay safe stay healthy and we'll see you next time play lots of D&D &D. bye bye, bye. 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 bye.